Uh, I changed the info. And yet... There we go, it's updated now. Uh, Twitch takes a little while to update when you change the title of your stream. Let's see, let's try um, the pilot. I think Hunter's still my favorite. I've beaten the game once with Marine, but that's just because I got lucky, so I don't think I'll be playing with him again for a little while. I don't think it matters who you beat it with unless you kill that, like, unless you actually collect all the all the things to kill the past. And then I think you have to, like, collect all the bits to kill the past with, and, th and then finish it off with each character. So basically you have to collect all the things to kill the past four different times and whatnot. Anyway, um, po point is, I don't think I'm going to play with Marine again for a while at least. And then I don't play with her very often, the Convict. Although she has a really good passive skill where she gets a damage buff if she gets hurt. So you can really make that count against bosses, like... You will get hit against bosses eventually when they get really difficult, and it really helps to have that extra damage. But the Hunter's my favorite, just because early game you can one-hit kill everything with a crossbow, basically. Every grunt you can one-hit kill, the harder enemies to hit. And then, like, the big knights, yeah, they take a while, but, like, it's just nice clearing everything super quickly. Uh, Pilot's amazing because he has that lockpick. I, I, re I, I just recently heard that in the, in the base game pre-patch, before they patched a lot of, like, different stats and stuff and a lot of different items... The pilot's lockpick, if you failed to pick a lock, you could still use a key on it afterward, and that sounds ridiculously, like, good. Pilot would be, like, hands down the best character. Now if you use the lock, which, like, he has a re rechargeable item, which is his lockpick. Now if you use the lockpick and it fails to pick a chest, you cannot use a key on that chest again. Like, essentially, you jam the lock. So you only want to do it when you have no keys, or if it's, like, a shit quality chest. Who are you? Oh, you're the co-op man. Okay. Still haven't tried co-op. Still want to, but still haven't. Alright. I'm wondering how much the camera is just gonna fuck people over in the co-op, and I assume you have to share collectibles too, right? Like, you have to share guns and stuff, like... Man, it, 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 it seems like it'd be harder than easier, honestly. Ooh. Here we go. Ah, I thought I'd get a chain explosion going, but nope. All right, let's see how we can do. I usually nowadays get to floor four or five at the minimum. But recently, I fi I finally figured out what that temple is for. There's there's a temple where you like lay something at the altar. For the longest time, I didn't know what it was, and only recently did somebody tell me. Like somebody tell told me. I I, I thought it'd just come to me eventually by playing the base game, and after they told me, I was like, wow. I'm really glad, because I would have never figured that out on my own. The crest you get in the sewer, uh, the crest that basically acts as a normal piece of armor but looks special, that's what you lay down at the altar. That's what you lay down to um, unlock another hidden dungeon. Like, I didn't even know there was an extra hidden dungeon. Um, but yeah, that one gives me some trouble, because that boss I've like almost never fought. And almost always that boss manages to- I, I've gotten there twice so far and both times the boss has killed me. One time I had a really bad loadout, so it was kind of not my fault. But the second time I tried it, I had a decent loadout and I still died just because he has, um... He has cursed attacks, which deal double damage. And, um... If you don't know his pattern, they're actually a little bit tricky to avoid. God. Are we done yet? Oh my god, we're not done. We're still going. Oh god, that was a bad roll. Almost never get those green ones. All right, and then another trick I was told is if you don't pick up a key until you get to the shopkeep, the shopkeep is guaranteed to have at least one key in his inventory. I don't know if that's true. It's always been true, but it could just be luck. Like he almost always has a key in his inventory anyway, right? So it could have just been luck, but it really it seems it seems like it's working out. Like for example, we didn't pick that key up yet, right? Since we didn't pick that key up, there should be a key in here, and there is. Now, whether that was luck or not, I have no, I have no way of knowing. But um, I'll keep doing it until it doesn't work. And if, if it if it keeps happening, run after run after run after run, that's probably pretty good evidence that yeah, it's true that the shopkeep is guaranteed to have a key as long as you haven't picked one up yet. 
And you can't leave, like, you can't leave any, like, pickup items on the ground. Uh, any items that go toward your, like, combat abilities, basically, I guess. Like, ammo, uh, guns, um, passive things, uh, use items. If you, if you leave those on the ground, they will, uh, they will get stolen. Sorry, just a second. My nose is so itchy. Excuse me. Jesus Christ. It's not even, like... It's like a physical itch. It's not, like, allergy-related at this point. It's just itchy. Ah, sorry. But, yeah, um... Things that basically go in toward your combat abilities it gets stolen by, like, this little character who leaves you a note. And if you come back in time to, like, see him steal it, you can kind of see him scurry off. I don't think you can fight him. Uh, let's try a lockpick. Nope, failed. Uh, but, but it, uh, hearts, uh, shields... And keys stay on the ground. Um, blinks too, I think. Yeah. Whoops. Hit my mic. Uh, blinks always uh, also stay on the ground. There's water over there that I do not want to hit, so we have to be really, really careful here. Cool. Oh god, you fuckers! I hate these little bats so much. All right, water's good. We have to not hit this canister of water because then I won't be able to knock the sewer level. And I think there's usually more water somewhere else, but it's like such a long slog. I think there's usually two water canisters uh, on floor one. One in the room with the, the fire and one outside the room, but like, God, getting that second canister across the map is uh, such a fucking bore and it's so annoying to do. Y usually if... Um, the canister in the room with the the bonfire gets broken. I, I just don't bother. I just skip the sewer for that run. Oh, let's reload. All right. All right, ghost, come at me. Come at me, ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Ghosts are actually like really kind of. They're probably the hardest enemy in um in the first floor. Like, they're, don't get me wrong, they're, they are an easy enemy in general, but like in the first floor, there's really not much else that gives you a challenge, except for like ghosts. And even then, I rarely get hit by the ghosts. <laughs> I usually get hit by something else, like stupid. Like underestimating the grunts. Let's, I, I really hope I am able to beat the boss without getting hit, because then you get an extra heart container. Ooh, we are opening you for sure. Reload stone. Don't know what that does. Let's see. Oh, it's a passive item. Wow, uh, this is the one that absorbs enemy bullets and converts them into ammo. This thing is amazing. Like, not only are you invulnerable, look at this, not only are you invulnerable, you get ammo from uh, absorbing hits. The only downside is you're invulnerable for only a really short time frame, so if you're not careful with how you use it, like, the invulnerability might end before, uh, it might end before you realize, and then you'll get hit. <laughs> okay, I got both chests. Alright, yeah, boss fight. Boss fight time. What do we got? Ah, the gull. I hate him. For some reason, I'm, I'm the worst against him. Sawed off at, uh, it's not actually doing that good damage. And the sawed off far away is awful, so, uh, let's just default gun this. God, I wish I got any other item but the sawed off. The sawed off is not a good gun. We are, um, feeding that to the muncher as soon as we find a muncher. Oh, I may as well cheese. I just realized we're at the bookshelf stage. You can cheese him so easily. Oh my god. God damn it. God damn it. Alright. I'm restarting this run. I got that really good, uh... I got that really good passive item that converts bullets into ammo, but, like, that's not... Uh, that alone is not worth, uh... Sacrificing a heart container. Like I said, if you beat the boss... Uh, without getting hit, you get a heart container, and, um, 
by the time you're at the second floor's boss or whatever, that's like, who cares? But uh, at the first floor's boss, they're usually not too hard. It, it, there's really no point in not restarting when you're trying to actually beat the dragon. Unfortunately, this is like the boring part of the game is the startup. And I wish I could uh, skip most of it, but alas. Oh, and here's the fucking stage with the water that I have to be careful not to not to break. God. This is apparently not a very good day to stream because my nose is not agreeing with me. There's the water. All right. Now I know where not to go. done yet. Oh my god, really? Jesus Christ. You'd think the explosions would put the fire out. Technically when an explosion like that happens, um, all the air in the area, like, it's, like, like, there's, there's a small vacuum, like, there's, like, a shockwave that's, the shockwave basically would, uh, clear the O2 that the fire needs to burn. Like, the fire would be put out by that sort of explosion, um, in real life. You, you would think this game would incorporate that, but nah. Fire still burning strong, and yet before the before the canister even breaks, before it even breaks, the fire goes out. But three grenade explosions not enough to put out a fireplace. Ooh, we got a, like a tough enemy over there. Um, yeah, that guy up there. You rarely see him on floor one. Interesting. He doesn't appear until you like played through the game a few times. Or I don't know if you have to beat the dragon or not, but you have to like like have collected enough. Uh, you have to, I think I think it depends on how many items you got. Like how many items you've unlocked. What is that flare gun? Flare gun's not very good, but it's better than my starting gun, so I'll keep it. I mean, so I'll use it. It's like a shittier crossbow. It does less damage than a crossbow, but it inflicts burn. And then the burn will kill them if you just ignore them long enough. Whereas if I had the crossbow, it would just kill them in one hit anyway. Like, it does more damage per hit than cross like crossbow, technically, due to the burn damage accumulating over time. But... I don't know. Crossbow is just simpler and more to the point. But yeah, I love this game. It's so addicting. The, the, like, the fact that there's a little random aspect, do you think that would be annoying? I actually think that's the reason it's so easily replayable. Like, I think without the fact that there's a small random aspect. I'm oh, sorry, if the, if the randomness wasn't, like, inherent in the game so much, it, it would not be nearly as, like, addicting. You know what? I take it back. Flare gun? About as good as a crossbow. Because, oh god. Um... Like the ghosts and the the ghosts and those red bullets take two crossbow hits to kill on floor one, and they're still taking two hits here. So like it's it's all in, it's all in order. These enemies are literally the worst. They're just annoying. They'll, like give them enough time, they'll kill themselves. They'll just throw themselves right at you. Oh my god, are you serious? Did I? I mean, okay, it gave, me half, it gave me my heart back, but still. Am I missing anything? I'm, miss, I'm still missing the shop. I just realized I'm still missing the shop, so yes. Woo! Oh my god, my nose. My freaking, my poor nose. Anyone else? One more. <sighs> okay. I'm hoping that's the shop right over there. No, it's chest. Uh, I'm not opening it because I need two keys to get to the sewer. Um, and if I get a third key, though, I might just use a key instead of trying to lockpick it. Yeah, you know what? I take it back. Flare gun, a little bit better than crossbow. I definitely take it back. Meat bun. 
meat, bun, meat, bun, spaghetti underneath. Ravioli, ravioli, great barrier reef. All right, let's just try to lockpick it. Blue, blue, I think it goes brown, blue, green, or is it brown, green, blue? I think it might be brown, green, whatever. This chest isn't that rare is what I'm trying to say. Ah, we failed. Heart container. I have like, I have, I have two and a half hearts here. I do not need a heart container. Not to mention, um, I did say we're trying to go for a no damage first boss run here. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it might be actually kind of tricky with these guys. For some reason, I almost always like eat a stray shot. Gotta remember to use my blinks, I guess. Ah! I'm out of blinks. That's bad. Ah, there we are. A to stray shot. God damn it. God damn it. You know what? I'm gonna try one more time. Uh. Oh my god, my nose is so... Okay, I'm gonna go blow my nose in the bathroom. Because, like, god, it's just so itchy. I don't know if it's gonna help, but I, I need to do something. I'll be right back. All right, wrong one. Here we go. Bathroom break. I'll be right back. I'll keep doing the Gungeon runs a little bit. I'm thinking like, when should I end the stream? I don't want to go that long today. I was going to make it like two, three hours, but I'll have the controller over there. I keep bumping them. Like my current setup, I like it. I'm in the chair. It has like more back support. Um. My current setup has more back support. It's easier to, uh, uh, it's easier to like position the mic. It's easier to actually get the camera in place and stuff like that. Um, speaking of, let's adjust that old tiny bit. There we go. Um, yeah, like I like the current setup I have with the chair instead of the couch. The couch is behind me, but I'm sitting in a chair right now, even though you can't see it. The only issue is like. Computer's right in front of me, mic's right in front of me, camera's right in front of me. I'm kind of like sealed in. So every time, I, God, nose is still itchy. I should call this the itchy nose stream. Every time I have to get up, I'm like bumping something, something or other. Okay, yeah, let's let's stream for like a couple more dungeon runs. Uh, did I quicker start? Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna quicker start this one. I'm gonna. What? Did, wait, hold on. A shrine to an old gunslinger. Kill your past, you've already damned your future, the rest is worn away. I never read that before. I somehow never looked at that before, that's really cool. Um, yeah, this time if I, uh, fail to not get hit, I'm just gonna accept it. So th that, like, extra heart is just really important. Like, re uh, recently, um, the few runs I've done, where I've gotten to 4-5, um, I just, I wasn't able to beat the dragon because I have like four hearts or something by the time I'm fighting him. I have like four hearts, but only like two of them are full. So I'm basically fighting him with like two HP. 
or, or two heart four heads but you know two hearts um so like recently i've been really trying to get better at uh beating the bosses without taking any hits because those extra heart containers are like so vital <coughs> honestly like that's one of the few things i don't like about this game like i wish whether you got a heart container or not wasn't based around whether you perfected a boss because then it seems like if you do a non-perfect run you may as well restart like you, you shouldn't like by you, you really shouldn't but it feels that way because it's like well i'm gonna die you, you have that like mindset already of like well i'm probably gonna die anyway like i miss i miss the early the early bonus I mean, like, I've seen people on Reddit, like, I've checked out the Reddit for this a little bit, and I, I've seen people say stuff like, you know, you, you need, like, to beat the dragon, the final fifth floor boss. People say, like, oh yeah, you need to do, like, perfect uh, runs on the first three bosses uh, to get three extra hearts, or else you're, like, screwed. And I'm like, damn it, I don't, like, I don't want to have to commit to doing three perfect runs. Actually, let's go check the shopkeep now. Um, even though we don't have money for him. So, yeah, that's fine, yeah. We can warp him later. But yeah, it's like, damn it, I don't want to do three perfect runs. Like, that's so much restarting when you mess up. Like, I want to do maybe one perfect run, but even the even the floor two boss usually snags a hit on me. Well, I usually have an easier time with the floor two bosses, honestly, than the floor one sometimes. Except the ammo conda. The ammo conda is kind of vicious. The ammo conda is really hard to beat without taking a single hit. Then there's Blobulon, who's super easy, but beating beating the extra bosses doesn't get you an extra heart container. Only the base bosses. The, the two secret dungeons, um, one of which I still never cleared, like I said, um, the, they're just for like extra guns and extra power ups and stuff. But they, they don't get you the the bonus for clearing a boss with no damage. I think it'd be a little bit too easy to beat the dragon if they did, because at that point you'd have like seven hearts by the end. Potentially. Like, guaranteed. You could have seven hearts without perfecting a single boss, because you can pick up items in the game that get you a heart up, but it's luck dependent. I mean, I guess it's nice that they do have some kind of reward for doing a perfect boss run. Uh, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how else they would give you, like, a, a reward. I don't know what else they would give you for... Well, like, like say you didn't get a reward for a perfect boss run. That, that kind of blows, right? I mean, the reward, I guess, in and of itself is taking no damage, but the bosses almost always give you hearts anyway. So like, if if a perfect run didn't get you, if a perfect run did not get you the the extra heart chamber, I wonder like, would it be randomized then? And if it's randomized, that still kind of sucks because then you'd still be resetting your runs um, in the hopes that you get it. So I guess that doesn't really fix anything. I guess it's probably fine the way it is. I just I just hate the feeling of. I hate having to feel like I should restart the run just because I got hit once. Um, and it, pro it probably wouldn't be as big of a deal if the f for the fact that the first floor is generally pretty boring. You know, it's, it really doesn't feel like a risk. A lot of times you get hit, it's because you took it too, like you didn't take it seriously enough because you know it's not that big of a risk. Uh, floor 2, or like, the sewers and on, floor 2 included, like, at least are somewhat fun. Well, the, the enemies can actually deal pretty, uh, pretty heavy damage to you if you're not careful. Alright, we haven't actually gone to the shop, let's go. Where was the... did I bust the first crate open? I must have. Oh, weird. Key... What did I get? The first crate, did it just explode or give me a heart? It probably gave me a heart container, huh? No, no, it didn't. Huh. It must have just exploded then. 
Okay. Oh, no, 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 it gave me the gas mask. That's right, okay. Prevents point. That's, that's the worst item I could have gotten. <laughs> that is literally the worst item I could have gotten. No wonder I forgot about it, because that item is, like, pure garbage. All right, we're going to have to do this boss with our default gun. It just increases the amount of time it takes to beat the boss, which probably means I'll get hit. Which probably means so much for my perfect run. Whatever, we'll try our best. As long as I don't, like, die. So if you kill one, the other one gets angry, and the grunts go away. Like, the, the angry pattern is a lot harder to dodge, obviously, but the fact that the grunts are gone almost makes me want to, like, do it sometimes. Because the grunts are just so annoying. Like, they only fire one shot occasionally, but god damn it. Um, like, god damn it, do they add this kind of hard to count for factor that otherwise isn't there. Oh god! Oh my god, that was really close. Alright, well, I'm doing pretty good at so far. Like, better not jinx myself. Still have one blank left. Oof, barely walked past that one. That bullet, like, almost grazed me. God, he's too close. Can we kill him right now? Ah, oh, my god, and I hit the camera with my foot. God damn it, that was so close, too. God, I'm pissed. Look how, look how little health he has. Like, oh, god, that's frustrating. That's so frustrating. I, I, I had the, wow, god, I could have blinked it too. Watch me, like, not actually get hit on the rest of this too. At least, at this point, it doesn't matter if I take another hit. The perfect run's over, but yeah, that was the one hit. That was the one hit. That's so frustrating, god damn it. Did I get anything good? Mailbox, mailbox, I guess is acceptable. Fuck it, all right, let's go to the sewer. Hold on real quick. Can we buy anything from you? No, nothing good. Is that flare gun? Phoenix. Even if I could buy it, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Phoenix is not good. Alright, well shitty start, but let, let's Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Okay, never mind. This is actually okay then. Uh not a great start, but not awful. The fact that my key worked on that chest. Or rather, my lockpick worked on that chest and got me a bonus key. That's actually not so bad. It's, it, the run's not saved yet, but it's not like all doom and gloom. This is worth continuing. And here we go, sewer time. Mailgun's not bad. Mailgun's, uh... What is it? There's like a better version of it. I forgot what it's called. Or rather... Actually, no, I'm confusing it. The Pox Cannon is kind of like a worse mail gun, is what I was thinking of. Because the mail gun, you get a random explosive, or you get a random thing at the end. But it's like, the Pox Gun, you just get poison. Or actually, no, the Pox Gun always shoots... Oh my god, I didn't see that I got something on fire. Crap. Well, let's, let's just use the mail gun. One of these levels. I, I hate these. I hate these so much. This one's easy, but there's some that are not. <laughs> I don't know what that one did. I looked like freeze, but. The parcel has random effects, so sometimes it's poison, sometimes it's fire, sometimes it, I don't, I don't know, sometimes it looks kind of like Freeze, like that one looked like, uh, the one that it got hit by last time looked like Freeze, but it could just be maybe just a normal hit. There we go, that one's explosive, obviously. I'm getting a lot of explosives in a row here. 
There, that one. The little firework there. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I don't, I don't think that's any status effect. I think that's just for looks. Alright, well, we got two keys. It's not bad. Oh, and there's the, there's the crest. We'll get that after the boss. See, what I used to do is I used to get it before the boss. So it almost... Oh, I used to get it immediately. I used to just pick it right up. So that, that almost always assured that I, I would not be able to actually place it at the altar. Because I would almost always take a hit by the time I was at 4-2. And if I didn't take a hit by the time I was at 4-2, I'd take a hit like on 4-2 for sure. But now that I know what it's for, I can like be more careful with it. So I've, I've Like I said, I've managed to get to the second uh, special dungeon twice so far. Grenade. Alright. Oh, let's not get hit by that. Alright, we got a lot. Ooh, ammo. Good. It was uh, timely. That one was starting to run a little bit low. These, those guys, the, the, the ones with the little red around their, uh, the bullet top, I don't know what you call them. The ones with the red stuff around their head. Uh, they have, like, a machine gun. They're way more annoying than the normal grunts. Oh, God. Rolled right into the bullet. Beautiful. Beautiful form of rolling right into the, oh, God damn it. Now I'm just getting salty. Plain bad. Wow, I didn't actually- that that one there was just my bad. I didn't see that one. That one didn't even have anything to do with salt. Aren't you guys dead yet? There's more. Oh god, there's you too. Get away from your grenade. Alright, how many are left? Is it just the exploding ones? Just kill yourselves, thank you. That mushroom survived the explosion. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. There's a lot of enemies on that run. Um, I actually want to go back and get the hearts, because I took so much damage. That was awful. Uh, oh my god, there's not even a short way to get back to that one up there. I have to, like, run it. The game, like, the, the teleporters are pretty much randomized, but, like, now and then you do get kind of bad luck. And you just kind of... You have to do a lot of backtracking manually, which kind of sucks, but... For the most part, the game feels pretty awesome in, in its pacing. Just like I said, every now and then you get bad RNG. Oh god, one of these rooms. I just talked about how- oh my god. I just talked about how much I hate these, and here's one of the ones I hate. For some reason, I always get hit by the bullets on, on these. Like, oh fuck. Oh great. Oh great. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Are... Yeah, I caught fire once. I am uh, playing so badly right now. I hate those fucking non-enemy like platforming rooms so much. I don't know why. I th I think the the first time I ever encountered one, I just got completely wrecked, and for some reason, the mental fear has never left me. Like I always get hit by those bullets. Like, boss patterns? Okay, I'm not scared. Uh, a fucking room with no enemies in it, where it's just the walls are shooting bullets at you? Like, I lose my shit. God. I swear I'm not that bad, guys. I usually get to floor 4 minimum. Usually floor 5. I don't always get to the dragon, but I usually get to floor 5 at least. Like, that was... that was awful.
I'm machine gun guys. Oh wow, I don't that bullet like that I am gonna have to watch that replay. That bullet went at a weird trajectory. I think it just was uh I think it just shot awkwardly. Like the, the bullets on those guys stray a bit. But it, it almost looked like it bounced off the wall, which it shouldn't do. There is a skill you can get to make your bullets bounce off the walls, but the enemy bullets shouldn't do that. Still, like, I, I think it just went, um, instead of going straight, I think it just shot off slightly to the side and that caught me off guard and actually nicked me. Well, it's fine. I'll be salty if I, uh, get hit on the boss, but if I get hit once or twice fighting the grunts, I don't really care. But I really hope I can get a perfect boss run this time to get that extra heart chamber. I can't believe I died in the sewer. It's been so long since I've died in the sewer like that. Ah. Alright, we got. Are you by yourself? Really? It's, it's rare that you get them by themselves like that. It's all RNG, but still, usually in a room this big, you usually get at least two. Alright, lock picking time, and lock pick failed. So if you're really lucky, you get the Junk Knight, but after you actually complete like the trophy, where you power him up a certain amount, your chance of getting him from uh, from Junk when you break open chests drops like to 2% or something. It, like, it used to be 20%, I think. And then as soon as you fulfill the quest, it drops to like 2%, and you can find them sometimes at the shop, uh, but it pretty much becomes impossible to... Well, not impossible. It, it just becomes highly, highly unlikely to get them from breaking uh, chests open. It just sucks. Like, e ever since I uh, got the trophy for him, I have never gotten him from a chest again. It's unfortunate. What do I have? Is this a is this a shot sawed off or a regular shotgun? Okay, it's a it's a regular shotgun. Literally the name is regular shotgun. That's good. I'm not forgetting this key, I'll pick it up later. If you don't pick up a key, I said this earlier in the stream, if you don't pick up a key and you get to the shopkeep, he's guaranteed to have a key in stock, at least one. Nor normally he does, but it's there's a chance he won't. But if you haven't picked up a key at all on that floor, he will for sure have at least one key. Oh cool, I love it when this room has no enemies. It makes it a lot easier. I don't have to worry about the water breaking. Alright, shortcut done. I've already got two keys for it. So if we get if we find a rare chest, I'm gonna use a key on it, because the shopkeep will have another one. Eh, rare enough. Let's go. Ah crap. Not worth it. It's a use it's a use item. It does exactly what it says that it's an explosive decoy. But um that's it's not a very good use item and to, to use a whole key just to get that was not good luck. H had I known what was in it ahead of time, I would have not done that. Oh no! I did not mean to pick that up. Fuck. This, if the shopkeep doesn't have a key, I'm gonna be so mad. So yeah, as you can see. It's doing its job. Now, I don't know when it actually explodes. Like, I don't, I don't know how... I thought it would explode when getting hit by a bullet. But... Okay, thank God, he still has a key. If I, I could have just, like, ruined my sewer run potentially up, like, by... Or I could, I could have potentially wrecked my sewer run by um, having had picked up that key. Because if he had none, and if the boss dropped no keys, I would not be able to get to the sewer. Just like a special extra level. Okay, let's see. This one I find pretty easy. I think this is the easiest level one boss. I say as I almost get hit. Um, so let's see if I can kill him without getting hit. And hopefully I can. Because then I can get that extra heart container. Let's place that decoy there. He's almost dead. That's great. 
this level and we're blank too. So I'll use that blank next time he does his spread shot. That wasn't the spread shot. Didn't matter. There we go. Got that boss uh, without getting hit. Probably because I had a shotgun and the shotgun deals so much damage. So yeah, we got an extra heart. So that's great. That's awesome. That's good. That's like a good start. Like getting... Oh, and if you... Oh! If you kill him after the boss, he, he's just crying on the ground because his king is dead. That's hilarious. I almost always kill him during the boss fight. But I, but I guess if you just have all your bullets miss him, he just sits there and cries. It's, it's kind of sad, but kind of funny. Alright. So we got my keys. Uh, I don't want the wind-up gun. It's not that good. I'll just save my money. Do we have any hearts around the level? No. Alright, we're good to go to the sewer. Let's take off here. Just one more final quick check. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Alright, here we go. Off to the sewer. Um, no, I'm not speedrunning. I'm not that good at the game. Uh, Mar Maru. Yeah, I, I still have a lot of items to unlock. I, I'd, I'd say I'm probably about like halfway through in terms of how many uh, credits you need to unlock everything. Because, you know, obviously the further you go, the more expensive stuff gets. Um, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get to the dragon and beat him. I've only beaten him once before so far. There's a blank. I didn't notice it. Thank you. I'm actually going to be trying to go to the second secret level because I've never uh, beaten the boss there. Oh, I have a decoy. Let's use it. But they're, they're all like so fascinated by the decoy. Like the ghost was on the other side of the room and he was still just watching the decoy. Pretty funny. A regular shotgun's really good. I got lucky to get it this early. It's gonna speed everything up a lot. God, my nose is so itchy. Oh, I was just I, I didn't notice that what that was. It's like a husk of a dead enemy that you killed. God damn it, I got it. Wow. God, now I'm just eating, like, multiple straight bullets again. <sighs> Sleepy. Yeah, I, I didn't sleep this morning, slash yesterday night, so I am quite tired. If I went to sleep, there's no way I would stream. If I went to, if I, if I had I gone to bed, I would be still asleep right now. I'd probably wake up in like an hour from now, and then it'd be too late to stream. <laughs> Ooh, it worked. Goody. What do we got? Snowballer. Snowballer. That's not bad. Uh, shotgun's way better, but snowballer is not bad for early game. It's pretty garbage for late game, but it's not bad for early game. Oh my god, I am just sucking right now. I think it's fine, because I still have most of my health, but jeez. Getting hit so much. Oh, they, they exploded my... What did I say about sucking? Like... My apologies. Like, I usually play better. The decoy fucked me up, because I didn't think it'd break so fast. And then... And then I just got hit multiple times, and it was my fault after that. I'm not, I'm not anywhere good enough to be able to speedrun, but I should be better than how I currently am doing. Mushrooms, mushrooms shot patterns are so random. Is there a third mushroom? Oh god! Why am I getting- why am I eating everything? Am I gonna die in the sewer again? I hate dying in the sewer. It's my least favorite place to die. Why am I doing so bad? I 
Oh my lord, I'm already at one heart. This is just going to be a repeat of last run, isn't it? Where I just do terrible. God. You s ah. Uh, the, the key thing is definitely not a speedrun tech. Uh, leaving the key on the ground is, uh, like, it, it, it just, it, leaving the key on the ground is for the purposes of having a key in the shop. And I think if you're speedrunning, you don't really have time to care, I, I, I would think. <laughs> um, it's more of just a tip in general. Um, oh god, I don't, I have no key. Let's try picking it. Nope. Alright. Let's hope I get a heart. Yeah, woo. I can't believe I, I I almost want to restart like it's not like I have any good like I have no passive items right or no passive skills except for the the heart chamber like I almost want to restart because of how much I've gotten hit like I'm, I'm, I'm salty god I hate these stages too I hate these oh my god I just fell off by accident to boot oh my god Sorry, I'm usually not this god awful at this game. I swear, I played it a decent chunk of time. I swear, I usually at least get to floor four or five. I'm sorry. Wow, I'm just walking into bullets. You know what? Just you know what? Quick restart. I'm done with this attempt. It's not working out. I don't know what's wrong, but I'm playing really bad. Like, I'm playing so bad right now. I'm surprised the frame rate held up. Sometimes the frame rate uh, just goes to shit when you get uh, a room full of bombs like that. God, it's so narrow. All right, we're good. And if I need a backup water, we have one right there. Oh my god, the key. Am I gonna lose that key? Thank god I did not. Oh, killed the water. Literally shot the water up. Well, like I said, good thing we have a backup water. Flip the table. Normally I'm, a, I'm, normally I'm a bit more careful in this room, but uh, because you know I don't want to I don't want to break the water in this room. But literally the fact that there was a backup water in the next room over made me pretty lackadaisical. Oh my god, a lot of grenades on this attempt. Go get that water from the other room. Just do that now so I don't have to do it later. Imagine having to do this from like three rooms over, possibly even more. It, it is such a bother. Ah. Okay, will you go? Ah, God damn it. It's, all, it's already not listening to me very well. <laughs> Imagine having to do this from like three rooms across. All right, go, 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 go. Faster. Come on! All right. Oh my lord. Gotta not get salty over getting it hit. I think that's what happened last time, is I got hit once and just got upset, and then that just made me get hit six more times, and then I gave up. Also, I had, like, no good uh, items except the heart chamber. The, the thing about beating the final boss is, uh, unless you're just amazing at bullet hell games, uh, you need, like, passive skills that boost damage. Like, if your damage output is at the base level or close to it, 
the final boss is like ridiculous. Um, also having like something that like like having a use item that gets you like temporarily temporary invulnerability or something like that, like a Starman, that's also very helpful. But w without like the proper uh, without the proper passive damage buffs from stuff like double bullets or um, angry bullets or whatever, like without that kind of thing, it is just a nightmare. Oh, cool. Machine pistol. All right. Uh, that should make the boss a lot easier. Hopefully this will make the boss um, a lot uh, simpler to kill without getting hit. Hopefully. Sorry I'm itching my nose so much. It's just so scratchy today. Oh, mailbox. Should we buy the mailbox, actually? Uh... You know what? I'm gonna buy the mailbox. Like, it, it, if it was on any other floor... As you go up higher on the floors, the prices of the shop go up. And if it was on any other floor, I probably wouldn't get it. But the fact that it's, like, on floor one, it's like, it's like a half-decent item. It's, it's acceptable, I guess, is what I'm saying. Green chest. Let's see if we get a key from the boss. If we get a key from the boss... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. I'm so sniffly. If we get a key from the boss, I will go ahead and uh, use that on that green chest. Oh, you know what? Clear that. Machine gun pistol is actually doing very little damage relative to how much I thought it would be doing. I mean, better than my starting gun by, by a, a lot, but so the reload time on it is not great. Let's use the mail gun. Fuck that. Not gonna try to dodge that. Alright, he's almost dead. Just gotta avoid this final barrage. Nice. Alright, we got the extra heart chamber. Yeah, I'm sleepy and I, I haven't played this... I played it... I gave it a couple runs, actually, uh, a few hours ago. I gave it two runs. Um, and I got to the fifth level both times. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. Once I got to the second secret dungeon and died on the boss, because I haven't had much practice on that boss, and then the other time I uh, skipped the second secret dungeon by accident because I lost my crest, and uh, uh, that time that I didn't get to the boss, sorry, the second secret boss, the, the, the old king is his name, um, on that run I, I died pretty poorly. But no, no, I'm like playing extra bad. And I have three keys. I said I'd use the key. Let's use the key. What, what is this? Blood Eye. Slower enemy bullets. That's pretty good. That was worth it. Cool. I think the chest rarity is brown, blue, green, right? Because like blue and brown are the ones I usually try to lockpick and anything higher than that. I try to open with keys. But it could be brown, green, blue, and if it is, then... Uh, I can never remember if it's blue or green, or green, then blue. I think it's blue, then green, going up in rarity. Oh, look at this. We got a full room here. We got a full house. Everyone's getting poisoned. Except the ones, except the ones that are resistant to poison, of course. They're they're fine. All right, just got the blob left. The reload time on this M16 is uh, probably the worst thing about it. The damage is acceptable for this part of the game, but the reload time is uh, so lengthy. Ah, crap. 
it's fine, whatever. Oh, he just fell off, okay. I wonder if you don't get money if they fall off. You don't always get money for killing enemies, but I wonder if they fall off if it's like a guaranteed, uh, if it's guaranteed no money. Oh god. Oh, they're giving me quite the assault here. Crap. I had the table too and I ventured out. Got hit. Man, the sewer usually doesn't fuck me up this bad. I, I don't know why. I guess maybe I am just too sleepy. Maybe Sleepy Gungeon isn't a good idea, because of the twitch reflexes you need at times to dodge that bullet that you didn't see. That and the fact that I'm itching my nose like every floor can't be helping. Da -da -da -da. This is like a very easy gun to just spam without even aiming. I don't care if it runs out of bullets, by floor 3 it's way too weak to even be worth using, so... Oh, one more of you. Alright, burn in the fire, thank you. Let's go buy a key. Maybe two if we're lucky. No, just one. Lodestone amulet? Nah, not worth it. Is there anything we want to sell? I'm gonna sell the little bomb. You know what, no, I'll keep it. I'll keep it to fuse it. Uh, I hate this, I hate this gun, it's like you charge it up and then bam, right? And I just, it's not that good. I, I, most charged guns I'm not a, very fond of, it just takes too long to start doing the damage. Um, but the little bomber, like, is not, it's not worth it damage-wise either. It'll kill the early game enemies, but it won't kill anything late game with one hit. Except maybe, like, the weakest of the grunts. Um... And I, I just hate, I hate how it looks, that one. Um, now I could sell it for 15 monies at that pit there. Or I could feed it and another gun to the muncher. And I'm not actually sure what I want to do yet. I think I'll wait. If there's a muncher on this floor, maybe I'll sell it. Or sorry, if there's a muncher on this floor, maybe I'll feed it or something. But I don't want to sell it right away. If there's something I wanted to buy, I might sell it right away, but there's not currently anything I want to buy at that store, so I might hold on to it. Ghost? Get out of here, ghost. Uh, what is this? M16? It's doing pretty good so far in the sewer. It's doing a, it's doing a decent job DPS-wise. And the range on it is actually really good. I never actually, I didn't actually notice until just now. The range on it is actually like a little bit more than full screen. That, that's quite good. All right, what else you got? More grunts. You're already poisoned. You're already gonna die. Okay, we're getting there. There's one more chest. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, let's ignore that room for now. Let's just, let's pretend that room's not there. In fact, if I don't need to go that way at all, let's just not ever go that way. Because I fucking hate those rooms. And uh, especially right now, I'm not in the mood. It's literally what killed me last time. I'm not in the mood to face it again. These guys never give you money. Like, they're, they're, they're very, they will chase you for ages, and they wouldn't be annoying, except for the fact that since they don't ever give you money, it feels like pointless to kill them. The other enemies at least have a chance of giving you some, some moolah. But the red blobs never do. That was lucky. Ah, I almost burned myself there. With my own with my own uh gun. Alright, nice. Knocked them both off. I really hope the crest isn't oh, 
Okay, gr we got green and blue. On oh, the crest is behind a key thing. So actually, let's use that now. Because I'm going to get the crest. I want to go to the next level, the next secret level. And I need that crest for it. Oh, well, that was lucky. What do you got? Mine cutter. Mine cutter is really good. I think I'm actually going to save that just in case. Uh, it's I think it's a um, Dead Space reference. Let me see real quick. That looks like a Dead Space reference to me. I actually never played the Dead Space games. Uh, oh God, right. Okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah, we're not going there. We're not going to that area. And then there's a chest over there. Oh, mo no, no, we have to go to that. Fuck! We have to go. The boss is here. Shit. I might use my blanks just to not die. I hate these so much. Alright. Used one blank, because fuck it. Because I'm a scrub when it comes to those platforming areas. I just hate them so much, they get in my head. You still not dead? There you go. That one just walked to his own death. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that one literally walked to his own death. There we go. I don't know why I'm trying to conserve ammo. Like, I have two other good guns. There's really no point. Oh my god, I wish I was immune to poison right now. <laughs> A lot of poison. That that bomb one hit kill. It seems to kill uh, all the enemies in this level in one hit. Like every single enemy in the sewer can be killed in one hit by that explosive one, which is really nice when it happens. Oh, I thought you were dead. Fuck. I was going over itch my nose again because I thought I had cleared out everyone in this room. God damn it. I have never had a stream where my nose was this itchy before. Um, do poisoned enemies spread green creep? No, the enemies that spread green creep are the ones that are like poison themselves. Poisoned enemies just take uh, DPS over time, like poison normally, you know, would. Um, that they only spread green like sludge if they are like a of a poison attribute themselves. Oh my god, I got hit! Oh my god, I almost set myself on fire. The table, the, the table I set up as cover got in my way. Oh, I'm so sorry for being so sniffly, guys. Like, it's really bad. Um, let's actually go ahead and... This boss isn't very hard, but let's just be at full... Oh my god! I was gonna say, let's get the heart. And then I just walked right into the razor blade and made that entire trek pointless. There was no point to that! <laughs> Great, okay, so let's just stay at three hearts then. It should be fine. Like I said, this this the sewer boss is actually really easy. Oh my god, I had the decoy last time! I, that That is so weird. Why is this run so much, like, so similar to the last run? I'm doing bad. I got the explosive decoy, like... So similar to last run. Okay, let's just keep using the mail gun. I'm gonna save the mine cutter until I absolutely uh, can't, like, until I absolutely don't want to use any other gun. Let's set the decoy up here. Oh god! Well, it doesn't matter that I got hit against this one. You don't, you don't get a, you don't get a perfect bonus against this one. The the main, the five main floors that aren't extra special floors. If you uh, if you kill a boss without getting hit, you get a heart chamber, so you get an extra heart. But this counts as a extra boss, so it doesn't matter. And we're empty. Let's, I guess, let's use the mine one now. It's really good, as you can see. If you can get some, uh, if you can get some like damage boosts on it, it does, it does so much. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Alright. Yeah, it does so much damage if you can get like some um, like double bullets or something or uh, like stout bullets or angry bullets or any like sort of bullet any sort of bullet based power up 
It it does so much damage. The bow is like hot garbage. That bow is so bad. Um Is there anything I wanna buy? Is there may as well buy hearts, I guess? Oh, they're so expensive. Loadstone amulet. Hmm. What does it do? Does something when you use blanks. All the amulets do something when you use blanks. You know what? I'm just gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell this. And I'm gonna sell this little bomber. I think you get 16 from both of them, yeah. There we go. Now I have a fuck ton of money. Let's hope I find something good to spend it on in the next level. Because I'm not gonna spend it on anything here. The half hearts economically are just not worth it. Um. Like, that's 40, that's 40 money, whatever in-game money this is. This 40 shell casings for one heart is not worth it. <laughs> I mean, sorry, the sniffling is so bad. It's like not even, it's like half itchy nose, half runny nose. I don't know what's going on. It's not allergies either. It's like something else, something mysterious. All right. Let's use mine cutter until I don't know. For now, it's gonna it, the mine cutter sh should theoretically just clear through everything super easy. Oh my god, I forgot to get the crest. Oh my god, I just realized, guys, I forgot to pick up the. I forgot to pick up the crest on the last floor. That's that's so I can't go to the next secret floor because ah, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> so you pick up a crest that serves as a piece of armor. And you place it at the altar to mock the next secret dungeon on this floor. And I just went ahead and progressed without having had picked it up. Because I'm a fucking idiot. Great. Like, fucking awesome. Like, wow. I'm so mad right now. I am so mad. Like, that, that was the whole point of me playing Gungeon right now, it, more than anything, is because I finally figured out how to go to the second secret floor. And I wanted to, you know, try it out and get practice with that boss and I totally missed it fucking awesome just like shit I mean I got hit anyway like theoretically I could have picked it up and gotten hit and then I wouldn't be able to go to the floor anyway because it, it works as a piece of armor um, and if you get hit it goes away so like I already got hit twice but I think I only got hit because I'm really angry right now that I didn't pick up the fucking crest God, look at that mine cutter just do its job all right we'll open you and that that is garbage garbage gun it uh it poisons and does a tiny this is where you'd put the crest if i had one like, i'm i'm fucking timmy turner's dad right now look like this is where i would put my trophy if i had one Ugh. um yeah i am not getting good luck like this this is this is a bad gun. It poisons and that's about it. Like it's not it's not worthless, but it's close to it. It's not even poisoning that one over there. Like why are you not being poisoned? Oh my god, I rolled in his bullet. Hello. I get I guess that one just doesn't get poisoned. Shit. Uh yeah, we'll just reload the mine. The mine cutter is the best gun I have. I should play better. I'm playing really like willy nilly right now because I'm upset. Um, shotgun coffee, sure. Speed up, okay. There's like three items that give you speed up, and uh, I've only ever well, there's probably more, but I've only I, I've I know of three. You get that, you got the bionic leg, and you got like uh, gun boots or something like that. And I've stacked two before, and when you stack just two, it's already really ridiculous. I can't imagine what it would be like if you stack three speeds up. Oh, that was fast. Minecutter makes such fast work of enemies. And this is this is like base minecutter. Like I said, if you if you get some um, DPS buffs, it becomes even more of a force to be reckoned with. Anything else in this room? No? Okay. Clearing these rooms out in like two seconds. Alright. 
Ugh, do I want to use a key on this? Um, let's try, let's try our trusty lockpick. Woo, okay. If that fails, I can't use a key, so that's why it's so scary to do. Yes, okay, blah, 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 sure thing. So he wants you to complete the whole map. You simply visit every single room, and then you come back to him, and he just gives you, like, a random reward. Um, I, I think, I don't know what, like, rarity he gives you of anything, but... I, it's like, it's, it's such an easy quest, if you're planning to, I mean, if, you, if you're speedrunning, it's it's something you don't want to do, obviously. But if you're not speedrunning, it's like, you usually almost always complete the map anyway. So it's like, he basically just gives you a, a free goodie for playing the game. There's another guy that makes you do a little challenge run before you get your item. Also, you have to pay him, and if you fail the challenge, you don't get your money back. But, uh, it's pretty easy. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. What is wrong with me? This is still only floor two, for Pete's sake. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the key. Great. Napalm strike or log. Uh, or block... Oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna give up the log. The log is not that good. I don't know what the Naples Strike is like. I haven't uh, ever used this yet. I've only recently unlocked it. And it sounds good, right? Ah, oh, God, I sold my guns. The, the, okay, well, it's okay. We'll fuse the machine gun pistol, which has no ammo. And we'll fuse that with um, the, the plunger, which is just hot garbage. And then we get a random gun out of it. If we're lucky, we get something good. Molotov, not very good. In fact, uh, the Molotov usually- Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? How asleep am I right now? Like, Jesus Christ, how asleep am I right now? Apparently very, I'm very asleep. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm playing so bad. I might die against the boss because I have like, one heart. Yes, I got the map. Oh, he just gives, he gives you like, I think he just gives you a random item. I don't know if it's always passive or not, but this one is, de deals damage to nearby enemies. That's not bad. It's not that good, but it's better than getting a gun I don't want. Let's buy a piece of armor to be safe. Just to be safe. I, I have money. Okay, boss time. Watch me die on a level 2 boss. I, I, I haven't died on a level 2 boss in so long. This is also, in my opinion, the easiest boss in the whole game, at least for me. So it'd be extra, like, pathetic if I die here. Napalm strike, let's go. Oh, it, it sets burn. Oh my god, I, I got hit against the easiest boss in the fucking game. Great. This is not my day. This is just not my day. I could have gotten another heart chamber, but I just got hit, so that's not gonna happen. Those are usually really easy to dodge, but if you're at the bad like if you're at a bad angle, they spread out a bit too much, as you can see. And also, I um, I was testing out the napalm strike. I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I should not have tested out the Naples. Like, testing out an item you have, you've never used before against the boss is usually, like, a surefire way to um, get yourself hurt or killed. Shouldn't have done it. Tangler, don't know what it does. I guess it just does that. And it looks like it bounces off the walls. Yeah, it bounces off the walls. It's not bad. It's not that good, but it's, it's not bad. Alright, let's just see how far we can go. Uh, I have not played Hyper Light Drifter. I was kind of interested in it, but I, I saw like how the gameplay moves. It seems a bit too slow for me. I'm probably gonna pass on Hyper Light Drifter unless it's only like two bucks or something. Like unless it goes on like one of those like 90% sales, I think I'm gonna pass on it. Uh, I want Dead Cells. I'm probably gonna buy Dead Cells eventually, but I'm again waiting for sale. Uh, Dead Cells is in early access at the moment though. And, like it probably won't go on a big sale until it's actually out for real. Who knows how long that'll take. Let's try Molotov. Oh my god. Well, no, let's go Tangler. 
Alright, if I can recover my health to like almost full, we might have a chance, but... Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Wow, the Tangler pixelates the enemies. That's really bizarre. I want to see that effect again real quick. Here we go. Look at that. That's so weird. What is that? A re that has to be a reference to something or other. These rooms where the enemies ride the carts are so fucking annoying. Like, stop it, guys. Stop it. Let me hit you. There we go. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Yeah, that, that has to be a reference to something. There's no way that's not a reference. This game loves its references. I don't know what that would be a reference to, but it has to be. It's so weird. If you let him multiply like that, it gets really annoying. There's the real one. Fuck. Let's actually go ahead and just use a key to get to the shop key. Yeah, he has a heart. Oh. That's a, that's a... That lets me fly um, and gives me temporary, temporary invulnerability. Uh, I think I'm actually going to save up for that. That's a really good item. But also, um, there's a, there's an item on level 4 you need to actually build the gun that kills the past. Um, and you need the ability to fly to get that gun. So, uh, yeah. Napalm Strike is not that good. It just, I mean, it sets a line of fire. But, like... I don't know, I thought it'd be better. Not worth it, like... Better than the decoy, but not by much. I honestly thought it'd be... Like, it cost me, like, 20... Uh, so when you beat a boss, sometimes you guys see that I get that, like, little green, um, uh, glowing thing. Like, a little green credit is what it is. Um, that's what you use to, like, buy more upgrades. And, um, the Napalm Strike, the Napalm Strike, I think, cost me, like, 20? And it's not worth it. Like, it is not worth 20 of those. I, I regret purchasing it. I mean, I want to purchase everything eventually, anyway. But, like... Could have probably bought a better item. Tangler is so weird. I have no idea. Uh, Chad, do you know what that's a reference to? No, they don't, I don't think. Yeah, this game's similar to Binding of Isaac. It's similar in that it's, you know, like a twin stick shooter and whatever. Um, my girlfriend really likes Binding of Isaac. I... I don't really want to try playing it. I like this game more. Binding of Isaac has much smaller, like, much more cramped areas. But both of, both games are obviously top-down uh, twin-stick roguelike, roguelites with, um, lots of references to other video games and films and stuff. So yeah, there's, like, a lot of overlap. But I don't, I think, I think, um, Binding of Isaac was, I don't think Binding of Isaac was made by, uh, Devolver. I think it was made by somebody else. Uh, let's pick... Yeah, pick the lock, why not? Oh, this is cursed. Is it, uh... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't want it. I, I wonder... I think if you drop a cursed item, your curse goes away. Pretty sure. Oh, there's the thief guy. Look at him. Look at him, he tries to steal it when you, like, leave. What a rascal. I want to I wanna make him appear again. Yeah, if I leave that there and go to the other room, he'll, he'll show up and steal it. Well, never mind. You guys saw him. I don't know when he'll appear again. I'm sure it won't be very long. Probably after I warp, he'll be gone. Let's see. No, it's still there. Maybe if you ward him off once. May Is that like a tech I never knew about? Like, if you ward him off once, does he stay away? Because if so, that's pretty cool. No, it's gone. All right, there he goes. Okay, no, you can't keep him away. He will steal your shit if you leave it on the ground. You can leave keys, hearts, uh, shields, um, 
and blanks on the ground, but anything that like anything that goes into like this menu here, anything that's an gun, active item, passive item, he will steal all those. Ooh, here we go. Um, time to refill our mine cutter. Sweet. Um, and I needed to buy the. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save. The, you have to pay him like 30, I think, to play this game. And normally I always do it, but you need 70, I need 77 for like the ethereal flight. Um, so I'm gonna wait just in case. Let's stick away from that explosive there. All right, that was quick and easy. Ooh, what is this? Machine fist. Don't think I've ever used this. Well, pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Doesn't look too. Oh, and you reload it, and then you get a big rocket fist. See, so you... that's cool. Some guns in this game, once you reload them, they have different effects. And that's clearly one such uh, example. I'm gonna have to test that later on like a boss or something to actually see how much damage the rocket fist does. I'm, I'm curious. Back at three hearts. You know this this run this run is turning around a little a little bit. Oh damn. Uh, okay, that's a gun. It says shell, but it's a it's a shell that fires guns. Laser sight d not necessary. It gives you like a laser sight. You know it's it's self-explanatory. Never use the AWP, but that's a lot of money, and I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Um. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and fight the boss, and then I'm gonna decide what to buy after fighting the boss because I, uh, I theoretically I want to play this game that costs about 30 and then I want to buy the ethereal thing that costs 77 you know actually I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the ethereal thing no matter what so actually let's let's keep our let's keep our trusty lock pick I'm gonna trade out the napalm strike yeah okay oh and I actually have enough to play the game anyway uh, so let's go play the game I think I have enough. Let's let's see. But yeah, the Reign of Ethereal form, I believe it grants you flight. It bestows flight, yeah, yeah. Incorporate reality and bestows flight. So that's that's really good. It's like a Starman plus it gives you flight. It's amazing. 35, motherfucker. Alright, we'll come back. I like how the heart th costs 36 and that game costs 35. At least I don't have like 34. I've been in that situation before where I have 34 and something costs 35 and it's the worst feeling. Or like after you beat the boss and you're one shell casing short of an item you want. That's the worst feeling. Let's just use Incorporeality right off the bat because it'll... There we go. It's so good and it'll last like, it lasts like a full like, what is that, 10 seconds now? Yeah. And then as you do more damage, it will gradually recover and you can use it again. I haven't gotten hit yet. Can we keep that up? Uh, probably not. Oh, god damn it. I got hit by the grunts attack too, not even by the tanks attack. Fuck. That's a shame. I was doing really well otherwise. Damn it! I was doing so good! Look at him, he's almost dead! Now I'll go corporeal, and now like... Ah! I hadn't gotten hit that one time, I could've gotten an extra heart uh, heart container. Ah! Fuck. I should be happy that I did like a relatively straightforward run, but like I'm just salty, because had I not gotten that one hit of damage, I would've had an extra heart container. Alright, what does the mustache do? no clue what it does. Chance to heal when money is spent. Ah. 
Yeah, I, I do think the game has uh, a way better aesthetic than Binding of Isaac as well, but it, it is obviously um, mostly just preference, but um, I, I'm not a fan of Isaac's aesthetic. I'm also not a fan of the cramped, the cramped spaces. Yeah, let's do it. I like doing these just because at least you practice. Like, even if you, um, even if you don't hit many, at least you get practice out of it. Fuck. Uh, eh. Okay, cool. Can I get one more? Yeah, three out of four. Bam. That's actually I usually don't do that well. <laughs> Crescent crossbow's not bad. I don't. I think. Hold on a sec. Oh wait. Hold on. Yeah, it's not bad. You have the option of charging it, or you can uh, do that. Um, individual star blast. Uh, what item did I get that I said I didn't know how it works? It was the. It was the fist puncher. Yeah. Let's try the machine fist on the next floor. I said I was gonna try it against the boss, and I just totally forgot. Like. Considering that I have the reign of corporeality, it would have been the perfect time to test out the machine fist. But, uh, oh well. Well, the, the enemies on floor 4 are actually relatively tough. Oh, my fucking nose. The enemies on floor 4 are relatively tough, so if, if the machine gun fist thing hits him, or uh, kills him in one hit, that... that Theoretically means it has decent damage. Let's find out. Well, those enemies aren't. Hold on. There we go. We can kill the ice block in one hit. Yeah, okay. It's pretty strong then. Damn. Okay, yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just cheesing it right now by constantly switching to the fist version. What the fuck? Why did it do that? Wait, what? Why did it curl around that way? That was weird. Okay, I think that I think that guy's just a necromancer, and, and he summons more of those. And then when he summons them, I guess my machine gun fist was targeting them instead of targeting him? I don't know, it was so weird. Like, it reached him, and then it did a full turnaround. It was bizarre. Um... Man, I wish it was just the fist and not the the shots, but I guess it'd be way too good. That's how they balance a lot of the guns. Like, it even homes. Like, it homes in. I don't even have to aim. Although, apparently it doesn't home well. Hold up. Hold the phone. What the hell? What the fuck is going on there? That's bizarre. Like, what is happening? I guess it's very short range, then. If you, if you go too long range with it, it doesn't work very well. Although, the, the actual rapid-fire version is not bad. Yeah, it curls. Wait, can I control it? Am I controlling it? Oh fuck, I'm the one controlling it. I wish I knew that before. Look at this. Woo! Wait, hold on, sorry. Fuck! Woo! 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 That is a really good weapon. Like, I'm not used to controlling these manually though, so I'm uh, having kind of a hard time doing it as you can see. God, I hate these skeletons. These skeletons are motherfuckers. Can I get- will it hit- will it kill with two hits on a skeleton? No, it's not that powerful, I guess. This almost feels like cheating. Like, you can do nothing against this tech. Well, he reforms because my aim is very bad. But other than that, he can do nothing. Oh, man, I can't believe I missed when he was... Okay. There we go. God. That's fun. I like, I like the manual control. It's really awkward, but it's really fun. Theoretically, you only need a, like... You just make- you just have a really long reload time. Um, you can't use the fist exclusively, it's like, like I said, it's just very long reload time. Probably not worth it. Oh god, I missed. Oh my god. Great. Not- 
I gave him time to set up his portals. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Okay, it's, it's harder to use than it looks. It's like really easy to just barely miss the enemy as you're trying to walk away. Just use corporate reality. Why not? It'll, it'll, re it'll recharge. I didn't even have to use the platform. I have flight. Why did I use the platform? Alright. This one's not bad. This wand is not bad at all. Probably be really good on these zombie levels too, where the little zombie guys keep spawning. Is the ghost dead or did it teleport? It teleported. Okay, now it's dead. Oh, I didn't even see you. You're the one spawning all the guys. I thought they were just spawning on their own. This is a way better gun against multiple enemies. It doesn't seem to be doing enough damage 1v1. Where's the other ghost? Is that it? No more ghosts? Okay. I usually get way more ammo. I'm actually surprised at how little ammo I've been getting. Like normally you get like two to three ammo, uh, ammo things per floor. I haven't gotten one all last floor if I remember right. Maybe I got one. But I haven't gotten any recently. Ah. Oh, okay, what is this? Just trying the forgotten offer gun at the altar? Uh not this gun. Hold on, hold the phone. Uh I'll give you the mail gun. Wait, hold on. Do I have anything worse than the mail gun? Uh Molotov launcher is worse than the mail gun, even though it has ammo. I'll give you the Molotov. Live to gun another day. Is that does that mean I get reborn if I die? I think that I think that might mean I come back if I die. I mean, we'll find out. We'll certainly find out. I'm most likely gonna die on the boss because I'm running out of uh, ammo on all my good guns. Like, I really need to get some ammo for the mine cutter. Mine cutter. Mine cutter is my boss killer. Okay, here's the shop. What do you got? Bullet time, that's a use item, I think. I think that's a use item. God, I kind of want to pull out my phone, but that take take longer than I want. You know what, actually hold the phone. I can just search it on the computer right in front of me. Let's see, gun, gen, bullet time. I just need to know if it's active or passive. Active. Slows down time by 70%. Yeah, okay, so do not want that. Um, I caught fire once is already gone, but I just saw in the chat that he left, so bye, I guess. Sorry, I didn't say bye while you're still here. Um, yeah, we, so we don't want, we don't want bullet time. I think we just want another key. Yeah, we'll just get another key. And I'm curious, when I die, do I get all my base uh, my base stats back? And like, do I lose all my items, or do I get reborn with all my items? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, this summoner guy needs to die. Oh, he's dead. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I say he needs to die, and then he dies. It's almost like he listened to me or something. Yeah, this wand ain't bad. It does very little damage on individual enemies, but it hits pretty much everybody at the same time. So, like, that's not bad at all. Where's that genie? There he is. Alright. That, that, those ice ones are very annoying. 
They're not actual enemies, they're more like obstacles that go away when you clear the room. But they're just so annoying to deal with. Alright, let's... We'll use our key. Ooh! Shadow bullets! Um, so now and then you fire two shots instead of one. It's like, it's not it's not as good as like double fire, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, that's the kind of stuff you really want for the boss. Alright, we'll buy the key and open that one up. Or actually, hold the phone. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Ooh, ammo, mine cutter. Where you at? Yeah, boy. Alright, this is looking up. We got, finally got ammo. Um, let's actually try to lockpick this one. Ah, fuck. I was gonna say, we don't have, we don't have, uh, I'm gonna swap out the lockpick for the, uh, the, there's an item you can only get on this floor by having the ability to fly. So it's, it's very annoying to get to because you kind of just need luck. You, you need to get lucky and you need to get an item that permits flight. Um, so that's another hold item. I'm going to swap out the lockpick for it before we fight the boss. Um, hopefully before we fight the boss. I, I need the I need to do enough damage to enemies where my flight refills first. But I think I'll be able to do that. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, we look good. Uh... I think I'll be able to kill enough enemies that I'll be able to do that. Ah, crap. <laughs> okay. What do you got? You got Arena Mimic Friendship, Brick of Cash, Ballot. Oh, these cost keys. Yeah, you know what? No, no thanks. Although, what is the ballot? Hold on. Maybe I want the ballot. Let me check what the ballot does. It's, it says, like, you voted on it, but... So it, made, it made me think it was pointless, right? But a lot of the a lot of the um, items don't actually tell you what they do in their descriptions at all. Increases coolness by three, decreasing the cooldown of active items, and increasing the chance of items dropping upon clearing a room. Wow, that's you know what? All right, I want to be cool. Let's go get that. I want to be cool. I, I would really like to be cool, please. Let's get the ballot. Yeah, vote of confidence. Remember, voting is cool. Please vote. If more people voted, we wouldn't be in this horrible hellscape we are in currently. All right, here's the place where we gotta fly. Apparently, I fucked up with my uh, I fucked up with how I uh, utilized my resources because I don't have the the ring ready. So I'm actually gonna have to face the boss. So I'm gonna have to be careful. Like, I can't use the ring too much, because if I use it... If I, if I kill the boss, and, um... Hold the phone. Let's use this. Um... If I use the ring, and, um... I don't recharge it before the boss fight's over. I can't get that item I was talking about, so I gotta be really careful with it. Like, I think maybe I'll be able to use it once or twice at most. Probably twice, but that might be risking it. Yeah, it looks like twice might be risking it a little bit. Crap, I got a hit. So those red ones, I think, do a full heart of damage. Normally, normally red shots do uh, a full heart. Cursed enemies normally have that. Yeah, we're not going to use the rain again. I, I don't want to risk it. I do still have a blink, though. I can use a blink. Fuck. Got hit. Yeah, we're not using the rain again. If I use the rain again, that's going to be really bad. Okay, yeah. Not using the ring. There's one guy left. And he does he does the same pattern over and over. It's not very hard, but um, if you if you uh, if you fuck up once, it's really easy to keep fucking up. So you gotta basically just not get hit a single time. Cause it's it's it, for some reason, at least with me, it's really hard for me to get my rhythm back. Cool! Awesome, that actually went really well. Level level floor level four boss fights usually don't go that smoothly. SAA. Oh, this this gun is not that good. The only good thing about this gun is that it wall bounces. 
Alright, so before I forget, because I forgot the fucking crest. Before I forget, let's go use our Ring of Corporeality. You know what? Let's switch just so I don't use it by accident, because that would suck. But yeah. Let's go ahead and get the hearts real quick, and then use our Ring of Corporeality to fly across the gap. And then we will be able to, hopefully, we will be able to deliver the... I forgot what item it is. I think it's, I think it's like a sacred bullet shell or something. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's plenty of time. Yeah, here we go. It's the planner lead. Oh, that actually doesn't take up a use slot. I thought it took up a use slot. It does not. It goes in your passive items. Um, so yeah, all that does is um, to, to craft the gun, to, to craft the gun that can kill time. You, you need, uh, I think, four different parts. And I have three so far. That's the fourth one I need. And that's why, that's why I wanted that so bad. Like, even if I don't kill the uh, dragon on this run, which I probably won't. I don't have nearly enough life. I don't have enough boosting skills. I'm running out of all my ammo on my good guns. Minecutter is really the only, like, decent boss gun I have. And um, that that's going to probably... I mean, I might. I haven't been getting lucky with the ammo drops. If I get lucky with the ammo drops, I might have enough ammo to kill the boss. But right now, uh, right now I simply don't have enough extra damage. I don't have enough life. But I do have an. I do have an invulnerable item that really helps against the dragon. The invulnerability helps so much against the dragon. Oh crap! Now that being said, I'm talking about getting the dragon. I still have to make sure I. I even get to the shopkeeper. Like I need to get to the shopkeeper. Um, to use the item I just picked up. Ugh, these fucking blocks are killing me. Like, literally. Those those blocks are killing me. Okay. Oh my god. And then you just get that thing on your butt. I'm already down a heart, and we're like three rooms in. This does not bode well. Does not bode well at all. Now we gotta go over there. Ah! Alright, and uh, what is this, the SAA? Well, actually, it's, it's doing decent damage. That's cool, okay. So I guess I'll use this, because what else do I have? I have the Tangler. That's almost out of ammo as well. I guess I'll use the Crescent Crossbow. There's a lot of enemies. Crescent, cross Crescent Crossbow is not bad. I don't even know if I'm hitting them anymore or not, but, like, let's hope. I think I'm hitting someone, right? You know what, fuck it, let's finish this off with SAA. Alright. Wow, they didn't lie, the description said reload times are fast. They are really fast. Uh, fuck, this looks bad. Look at all this fire. Look at all this fire. So much fire. Oh my god. So much fire. Oof. Uh, what do I want to reload? Mine cutter, mine cutter, mine cutter, where are you at? Okay. And let's use up the rest of our wand. 15 shots left. It's not worth it on these back to the SAA. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh, more ammo. Cool. What do we want to refill though? Mine mine cutter's full. Uh machine fist, machine fist. Yeah. Okay, so I got two boss weapons now. Machine fist and mine cutter. It's not bad. Um I guess let's use the tangler for now. If we start taking a lot of heavy damage, I'll switch to the Minecutter, just because the Minecutter uh, definitely is better in terms of DPS. 
a certain point if you're conserving ammo, but you're losing life, it's like, what's the point of having conserved ammo if you're dead anyway, right? Tangler is very slow. Yeah, Tangler is actually really slow. Um, let's use SAA. SAA is fast and actually does okay damage. Look at that. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Oh god. Okay, thank god for this thing being fast. The wall bounces are helping a lot too, actually. I didn't think the wall bounce would be this useful uh, in this level, but it's helping out a lot. But I'm getting mostly beginner enemies. I haven't gotten, like, death yet. I haven't gotten the skeletons. Like, I've gotten only the robot a couple times. I'm actually surprised. Usually, uh, the fifth floor has way harder enemies. I mean, I guess that's just RNG. But, yeah, it's being very gracious to me this time around. Ooh. Mass shotgun. This is cool. I think it fires, like, a ball that explodes. Yeah. It's not bad. I'm gonna stick with the SAA though. Wait, that's the rogue special. Until the SAA runs out of ammo. This, this thing's treating me really well right now. Man, look at it go. Wow, it's just clearing room after room after room. I never knew the SAA was this good. I've had it before. And I'm invulnerable, thank god. This room looks like a nightmare. Oh god, no. This room was really easy. It was only two enemies. If anything, I wasted that invulnerability. Okay, and there's the, there's the final boss. Where is our blacksmith? Come on, we gotta get to the blacksmith. Ah! Ra razor blades. Okay, out of ammo. Gun's not bad, but if it does if it doesn't do the explosion, it actually doesn't seem to like in order for it to do a lot of damage, it has to explode. Okay, this is good. Rocket power bullets, faster. So that that's the kind of boosts you need to beat the dragon. Like so increased bullet speed and power. This one fires additional projectiles. Like if you just stack a bunch of those, it gets really good. I just realized the whole time I've had uh my enemies fire slower bullets, and I totally forgot about that. Probably only like 10% slower, but slower is slower, you know? I'll take it. Look at that. It's way better now. I'm still amazed that I'm getting all these jobber enemies on the fifth floor. Like, holy crap. Usually you get way more um, challenging enemies than this. Yeah, these are just jobber enemies. What is going on? Why am I so lucky? Let's not actually use that one. Let's go back to SAA. Or it's out. Fuck, it's out. All right, let's use the wand a couple times then, I guess. Just flip over all the fire. I don't know if I'm hitting anything, but it's fine. Oh god. Oof. Still getting- I don't need keys anymore this late game. I, I have no need for keys. Well, they're not shooting me for some reason, so let's just cross over. Oh god, there it goes. Skeleton. 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 Skeleton without a- without a thing to hide behind is very scary. St more keys? What the fuck? Okay, our mine cutter is full are like what would I use the, the I probably could use this on the boss if I run out of the mine cutter and the machine fist um so tangler is not yeah let's just refill the SAA then SAA has been doing good good work it's been doing good work I'm actually getting like uh anxious because like I probably will lose to the dragon but I stand a shot like right now I actually have a shot if I could recover all my health, that'd be even better, but, like... 
I could potentially win. Like, the prospect of maybe winning is getting me kind of anxious here. Okay, we're at the shopkeep. Let's go ahead and give them the last item. Planner lead is what it's called. That's everything. Yeah, we, we're right. We're making the bullet to kill the past. That's what we're doing. We were bringing him the ingredients for the bullet to kill the past. If you fail, just come back another time. Okay. It's done. Here you are. Ooh. So you only need to bring the materials once. I thought you'd have to rebring the material. I thought every time you try to clear the gungeon with a new character. Like, I thought for every character you'd have to bring more materials. But it seems like you can beat the dragon with every character having just brought these materials once. That's cool. Let's read that description. Or do we even get it? Oh, here we go. A bullet that can kill the past. You're not sure what will happen when you fire it, but you feel exhilarated. Cool. Still have to beat a fucking drag gun, though. Okay, helix bullet. Helix bullets fire your bullets in a helical fashion. Um, it's as cool as it sounds. I need 37 more. Oh, that's probably not gonna happen. I can refill ammo. Absolutely do not need keys for anything. Rad gun sucks. Gamma ray is okay, but I, I really don't need a gamma ray at this point when I have a mine cutter. Um, those are pretty shitty things in the shop, honestly. I was hoping there'd be like another good use item or another good passive item. There, There is not. That's unfortunate. Oh, but we have a muncher. Maybe we'll get something good out of the muncher. Let's feed it. Let's feed it. Crescent crossbow. And... And... Uh, and yeah, ma yeah, mailbox. Why not? The two that don't have any ammo. God, the, the shopkeep doesn't even have any hearts or armor or anything. Flare gun. Didn't I start with that? Fuck. Okay, well, flare gun's worthless. Shit. <laughs> okay, I got good luck on having, like, all the enemies be jobber enemies. Like, I don't think I saw death there. I don't think I... I like, level 5 is easier than level 4 sometimes. Level 5 has extra obstacles, but it's really not that hard. God, I wish I could afford that. Is there, like, anybody I could sell something to? Anywhere? No? Fuck, this is frustrating. I have 51 money and absolutely nothing to spend it on. I'm just gonna have to go in as it. Like, this is my final state, I guess. No armor, no hearts, no jack, like, jack shit from you, dude. Except that. That would have been really good if I could afford it. Ah, okay. Alright, we're doing this. Time for the boss. Alright, time for the boss. Can I do it, or will I fail catastrophically? Here we go. Let's actually start with the machine fist. Two and a half hearts. One dragon. Here we go. Ancient and venerable. Let's just clear that right out. Not doing like my damage output is not as high as I would prefer. Oh god, let's just go invulnerable. Am I still invulnerable? I'm still invulnerable, thank god. These bouncy things are really hard to dodge. Okay, well he's at 60% right now. Did I get- Ah, oh, I got hit before I blinked! Fuck me, man. That's frustrating. Oh my god. Alright, so those are gonna start firing, and I'm gonna wait till I'm about to get hit to activate my use item. Right now would be good. We're about to run out of the machine gun fist. Let's go, my cutter. All right, I still have invulnerability. I don't need to roll. Now I don't have invulnerability anymore. Now this gets hard. God. Woo! Limit on the 
Adventure tomorrow! Ah! Jesus Christ! Okay, he's in the final phase. It's not over. He's in the final phase. The final phase isn't too hard. It's really easy to get carried away in though. I can't believe I only got hit once. It's not too hard, like I said. Just gotta be really careful. Or you get invulnerable, and then it becomes a cinch. Fuck. I could just get enough invulnerability to... Come on now. Flying Cutter, come back. Hit his heart. Hit his heart. His heart takes more damage, maybe. I don't know if it does. Okay, phase two. It's the exact same thing as phase one. Oh, God. We can do this. 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 Come on. Kill his fucking heart. Just kill it. Oh my god, I just realized, am I even doing damage to him while I'm shooting him? I'm not sure if I am. I think I am. I'm just gonna pretend I am. Hold on, let's switch to the fucking something else. If we're not doing damage, or if we're doing very little damage, we may as well use this. Explode, there you go. Explode into the shots. Oh my god, he's so close to being dead. Oh my god, he's so close to being dead. I think one more of these, and we got it. This usually does not last this long. Usually I only have to do this twice. But for whatever reason, it's taking a while this time. Luckily, like I said, it's not very hard as long as you... As long as you don't panic, it's not very hard. Wow, I did not expect to beat him on this run. Holy shit, there he goes. Is there... There's not a phase two, right? Am I actually gonna kill the past? Oh shit, am I actually gonna kill the past? Like... Am I actually going to kill the fucking past? Because if so, I'm hyped. I have never killed the past before. Let's just shoot his bones. Let's just relish in the fact that we achieved. Fucking die, dude. Alright. There's that obsidian shell casing. I I've gotten that before. That's why I was able to make the bullet. To make the bullet to kill the past, you need to kill him at least once. It's really funny. My friend once killed him. Got the shell casing forgot to go back to the shopkeeper and deliver it and uh that that like that's that you got to do it again all right i think we're good here let's go ahead and i guess kill the past my god i can't believe i fucking pulled that off i can't believe i fucking pulled that off jesus christ all right here we go do we get a special like cutscene? watch like i wonder what happens if i just kill myself right here like, how funny would it be if it's just game over? Alright, what's gonna happen? What's gonna fucking happen? Only been here once ever before? Did not have the bullet. Now I have the bullet. And here is the gun. Looks very ordinary, I know. Like, it's a little boring. The bullet looks kind of boring, too. It's not, it's not that fancy of a gun. The barrel aims back at you, though. You shoot your own head. Kind of amusing. Uh, I don't actually know if I have to time this. I, I don't think I do. But let's try to time it anyway. Oh, you hold the button. No, no, you hold X. Right, right. You you kill the past by holding X, I guess. I thought it was just a, a tap. How far do we go? Okay. Is it far enough? Did we kill the pilot's past? Did we kill the past? Give me something. Give me some flavor text. Give me like... Okay, this is this is something I haven't seen. What is what is happening? That's almost all of it. Z. Z. What a fucking 1990s default cool name. Naming somebody Z. Or Zero. Anyway, just grab what's left and let's boogie. Hold your space horses. You can't wreck something like this. Besides, H-mons... H-mons? What is it? H -mon, H mons don't have eyes everywhere. There's no way we'll run into anybody out here. Just gotta get the clamp lined up. What is happening? Unregistered craft. Sword. This is HM Absolution. Your craft has been scanned and is known to be carrying property of the Imperial Hegemony of Man. You will be towed by standard tractor. 
power off all systems but life support. Any acts of aggression will be met with supreme prejudice. Comply within 20 seconds. You gotta make the jump and get out of here. There's no time for me to dock. But you don't have a jump drive. Just go! I can't! Go! Uh... Fuck. We're not leaving our friend behind. Let's all all power to the engines. Whoa, is this a bonus ball? Oh my god! This is not what I expected. Jesus Christ! Oh, and I have a barrel roll as a dodge. What does that do? Missiles. That does missiles. Okay, nobody told me nobody told me this was part of the game. Holy shit. I I'm getting my ass kicked though. I'm a little worried I won't win. Oh, and there's no reason not to spam the missiles. You should definitely spam the missiles. Fuck. Uh, I'm at half a heart. I'm not gonna win. Damn it. Damn it, I'm gonna have to try again, aren't I? Killed by a sh oh, Fuck. Well, it was a good run. Next time I think I'll try the warp. Um... That's definitely doable. I got it down to 60%. I just the, the barrel roll is not as good as your normal dodge roll in the game. The barrel roll moves really, really slowly. Okay, well, that was that was indeed cool. That was really cool. Still need 19 bullet shark. Okay. Anything new unlocked? No, not really. You got anything to say? Yeah, good luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you have to say? I'm off duty. Okay. Okay, so they don't have anything new to tell me. Wow, man. Like, I did not expect a final boss fight. I was not ready. I got destroyed. Uh, we can buy these two, right? Yeah. Th what, no, 13 and 15. We can buy these two. Let's buy these two. Got the Patriot. And we got... I... Uh, the other one didn't pop. There we go. Chaff grenade. Sure, whatever. I want to buy all of them eventually, so I don't really care which I spend money on right now. Okay, let, let's give it one more, one more, one more dungeon run. I want to really get to the second secret. Um, I want to get to the second secret dungeon. I was supposed to try to do that last time, and I just completely forgot to pick up the crest. Let's give it one more run, and then I'm gonna call it um, a day. God, I can't believe I beat the dragon. I had two and a half hearts. Um, and I did it, like, Jesus, the, the invulnerability helps, like, no matter what, if you have invulnerability, you have a shot, I think, against the dragon, because when things get really hard, you just, you know, you, you obviously just, uh, get that invulnerability out, I can't believe I just got hit, <laughs> that was pathetic, but yeah, um, try to get a star man, or, or, or that, uh, ethereal ring or whatever like there's multiple items that grant you temporary in invincibility and uh, the dragon becomes a lot easier um, the stage of his fight where he pulls out two guns and he sends them out to the side and they both shoot you from the sides while he fires uh, bouncy balls at you that is by far the hardest part of that whole fight and if you have invincibility you just absolutely negate about 80% of that um, so yeah I, I still didn't think I was gonna win. I took only one hit against the dragon too. Like it, it's not even like I just I, I, I didn't barely win. I did like really well. That was the w best I've ever done against that fight. Like I, I was juking and jabbing between some of those bullets really well. And bullet, I can see why people get hooked on bullet hulls. Like when you do well uh, against the bullet hull section, like. You feel really awesome. Well, let's just break that. Eh. Not gonna use a key on a brown chest. Like, e even if uh, I got a third key, I don't really want to do it on a brown chest. I'm not getting much money. Come on. Where are all those money enemies? So 
Somebody drop some money for me, come on. Ammo. I don't need ammo, I have full ammo. Woo! Oh god, there's the water. Um, this isn't the stage of the fire, but I still ideally don't want to have the, have the water break in case I need backup water. I did say this was going to be a, a run where I go to the second secret dungeon, which mandates you go to the sewer. So, yeah, here's the, here's the actual fireplace. Cool. Got some explosions. You should die pretty fast. Come on. There you go. All right, we didn't need the we didn't need the second water, but just in case, it was good that we had it. All right, sewer run is officially a go. I just I need a little bit more money because for some reason all these enemies are dropping like no cash. I need I need 25 to buy a key. I've only gotten 14, and this is like 70% of the rooms already. I mean the boss usually drops at least 20, but still. Take a Molotov. She starts with a Molotov, which is pretty cool. It's just it's one of those uh, one of those items where if you're not careful, you can like if you use it in a small place, you might just hurt yourself with a fire. And also, she only has one um, she only has one active item slot. So as soon as you see any other uh, any other item, just swap it out. The Molotov's not that good. <laughs> Bosses that like float, the Molotov doesn't even hit them. Like, the Molotov is ground only. For example, if I fight the king later, um, as the first boss, he floats, so the Molotov is absolutely useless against them. Are you gonna teleport? Yeah, there you go. Cool. Still don't have enough money to buy it though. The, the second key, that is. Oh my god, another brown chest? I guess it's fine, because I'm not opening you anyway. Just need to save my keys. God, I wish that was Junkin. I wish it was the Knight of Junk instead of the Junk of Nothing. Alright. Oh. Well, I wish I had more money. Um, well, my airstrike's not. Airstrike's like a napalm strike that does damage instead of fire. Full Metal Jacket's actually garbage. It blinks when you're about to get hit. So, I mean, I guess against bosses, it's kind of cool. You don't have to worry about blanking or anything like that at all. You just play... You, against the boss, I guess you play as well as you possibly can. And then uh, it'll blink for you, so you have a better chance of getting a perfect run against the boss. Uh, therefore, get an extra heart chamber. But then when you're in the in your, when you're in the dungeon and not at the boss, it'll force you to use a blank when you're about to get hit. So that sucks, like, a lot. Because um, you don't want to use blanks unless... You don't want to use blanks usually throughout the dungeon. You usually want to save them for the boss. So it's like, it really sucks where it forces your hand. So this this item is actually pure garbage. I never want to buy it. This recovers two hearts um, and is a hold item. And it's usually a pretty good deal, except that I need seven more... I need seven more money to buy the second key. <laughs> like, there's no way I can afford that. I probably won't even be able to afford it without the key, now that I think about it, but like... Okay, we got bullet twins, or who is it? Bullet twins, yeah. Molotov works on them at least. I have to use my base gun, so at least I have the Molotov. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to liberally use blanks, because if I, if I can get a perfect run on them, that'd be great. I have, I have four blanks. I may as well try to use them all. That was not good placement of my Molotov. It's fine. Yeah, just, just to be safe, let's do that. I have two more blinks left. I don't want to use them when I don't have to, but at the same time, I don't want to get hit when I don't have to get hit. There we go. One down. And an angry bullet to go. Eh, 
Now let's use our last blank just in case. It's almost at no health. All right, perfect. Got that extra uh, extra heart for doing it perfect. Got ammo that I don't need again because I have the default gun has infinite. Got two hearts I don't need. Um, the scrambler is um, I think the scrambler is my favorite gun. Um, you don't have to really aim it. You shoot it, and then when it hits, it fires those little bullets, and they auto aim. Like they will auto track the opponent. It's it's really good if you manage to um, get like passive buffs. Um, like it, it's kind of it's kind of like brainless, I guess. But it's it's just so fun, and I really like watching the. Oh my god, I just realized I can't go to the sewer. I don't have enough to go to the fucking sewer. I'm I, I didn't make enough fucking money in the dungeon. To buy the key. Fuck. Are you kidding me right now? God damn it. Alright, well, on to floor two then, I guess. That fucking blows. Shit. Alright, so much for going to the second secret dungeon. We, we are locked out of the first. Fuck. There's nothing I can. There's nothing I can sell. Yeah, there's not. There, there's nothing I can do. The, the floor just didn't give me enough money. The floor just flat, flat out didn't give me enough money. Yeah, Wolfpack and I'm same old, same old. I'm really salty right now that I didn't get enough money to buy a second key to access the secret dungeon, and I got no keys. I got no keys from the rest of the level. I just got. I got screwed over. I got so screwed over by luck there. Damn you, RNG Jesus! You failed me. You failed me so hard. I mean, on the bright side, we will. And th yeah, there's the key I need. Thanks, game. Um, on the bright side, we should theoretically be able to get to floor five a lot faster. But it's like I'll have less items. I, I would have collected less items, you know, by the time we get there. And. Uh, and I really wanted to go to that, like, second secret dungeon already. Like, I've never been. I'm oh, sorry, I've never beaten it, rather. I've been twice. I've never beaten it. I really wanted to beat it. Fuck. I can't believe I got screwed over like that. Like, the luck of that is ridiculous. Yeah, the other good thing about the Scrambler, it ignores gaps. The bullets just, you know... I mean, I guess they're bullets. They're airborne, it makes sense, but yeah. Like, look at that. Look at that, homie. Look at that, homie. Like, look at that homing ability. That's ridiculous. It's so good. It's so freaking good. Like, bam. Home, 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 home. Look at that. That's so good. I love this Scrambler. As I said, it's kind of brain dead because you don't have to aim. You can just shoot wherever you want. If I had the crest, this is where the crest would go. Ah. Wait, wait. Oh, no, I don't... I don't. Yeah, I'm not taking a break. That's if you want to, like, quick save, basically. Um, I'll save the key for now. I might get that brown chest, actually. Uh, if I get enough keys. But, I'll wait. Oh god, this is awful. This is an awful one. Okay, let's... Whoo! Barely made that dodge. Okay. Look at the Scrambler go. It's so fucking good. I love it. Look at it go. Look at it go. It's so good. It's so freaking good. Wait, is he locked behind a key thing? Oh, no. Are you serious? I have to get a key to go to the shop? Hmm. I guess we're not going to the shop. I guess we're just not going to go to the shop. On this level. The RNG hates me. I guess I got I got kind of good RNG last time on floor five. I was talking about how I got a lot of jobber enemies, and now the RNG is punishing me for it. I guess in hindsight, like the ga game's like the, the game is telling me that it went easy on me, and now it's now it's doing its most to to be difficult, it's just screwing me out of all my all, all my normal routes. Like screwed me out of the shop, unless I want to use a key on it. Probably won't even be a key there to restock it. Probably will cost a bunch, like... God, Scrambler's so freaking good. 
That enemy just now, by the way, that's my least favorite enemy in the whole game. I'd rather fight any other enemy. <laughs> like, that one is just so unbelievably annoying. Yeah, it, it's not too bad on its own, but if it's like in a giant room full of other enemies, it gets really bad. And the worst is when that, that um, Iron Maiden type guy, when it gets buffed by one of the like mages or whatever, one of the priest guys or whatever that, that buff you. Oh my god, I can't believe I got hit by that. I don't know why I thought that bullet wouldn't hit me. Ooh. So this gives me a piece of armor every single floor. Like, hence armor every floor. That is really good. That's basically a, an extra... It's not quite a heart container, but it's basically a half heart container. It, it, it is really lucky to get that. That is a good item. As much as this run is like... As much as I'm having bad luck in certain aspects of this run, at least I'm having decent run in other aspects. Um, we are gonna just break that chest. I don't want to use a key. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling a key. Don't have enough. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get Sir Junkin. No. 2% chance. Like... Would have been nice, though. Would have been nice. All right, boss time. So I usually get hit a couple times against this guy, but maybe I'll get lucky and I won't. If you can stay on the side that the enemies spawn on, it's not too bad. Oh god! Gotta knock those away. I have to change, the, the one thing the Scrambler doesn't do is it can't, it will always aim at what it wants to aim at, which is, oh my, ah, okay, well, not getting the extra heart, definitely not getting the extra heart now, it's fine, whatever, it would've been nice, but, oh well, Woo! where did you come from, little guy? He spawned at, like, the perfect place. Like, he spawned behind where I could see him. Yeah, I got hit three times, so... It's fine, whatever. Like I said, I, us I usually don't beat that guy. Mer shotgun's not bad. It's no scrambler, but it ain't bad. Alright, well, no extra hard container, but we got armor every floor, so... This is still a above average run, I'd say. Maru, bye. Thanks for hanging out in the chat. Um, yeah, so despite not being able to go to the sewers, and despite us getting kind of luck screwed on the shop, this is still an above average run, I'd say, simply because I still have at least one extra art container and then one piece of armor guaranteed. Like, that ain't bad. Uh, fuck. I could be a lot worse off. I could definitely be a lot worse off. God, this, this one has that cannon that constantly shoots until all the enemies are clear. Oh my god, that was the worst spawn point. You're kidding me. It was terrible. Alright, whatever. At least they got an armor for it, I guess. That enemy literally spawned inside me. That was terrible luck. Uh, I guess the only other bad thing about the Scrambler, it only goes for one enemy at a time. Which kind of makes sense, but like, like I said before, it, it usually goes for the big bad in the room. And then when there's like lots of little tiny enemies, it, it will just go only for one at a time, even when there's other enemies closer. Like, it, once it picks a target, it goes for that target. Laser Sight, I don't... Let me make sure... M16? These all don't seem worth it. Like, I don't... I doubt the M16 is better than the Scrambler. The KC is a, actually a gun. It's, it's a bat, right? But it's it's a bat. It, it works as a gun. You charge it up. You whack enemies with it. If you whack bullets, you reflect them. It's not that good. Uh, let me make sure the laser sight doesn't get me anything else. It probably ups my uh, like stabilization or something. But uh, I don't know if I want to spend what is it, 50? 
I don't know if I want to spend 50 on it. Let's see laser sight. Gungeon. I forgot to add Gungeon to the search. So, laser sight. Reduces weapon spread by- oh, it reduces spread of the bullets as well, which is actually not bad. Let's go ahead and get it. It reduces, uh... Wait, actually, but the, scra the scrambler doesn't need spread. Now, if this is if this is gonna be like a scrambler run, the scrambler doesn't care about spread. It fires one shot that then explodes outward. Yeah, you know, fuck it. We're gonna wait. No laser sight for us. Let's look at the scrambler go. Scrambler doesn't need no laser sight. Scrambler will home you down on its own. God, look at all that destruction. God. Jesus. Those enemies got obliterated. Ah, brown chest. But I have three keys, so let's do it. There is no better feeling, I think, than opening a chest and getting an item and a key. What is that? Rate of fire up. Oh, that's awesome. Not, okay, worthless for the scrambler, right? Because the scrambler only holds one egg at a time. But uh, if I get another gun, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Ideally, I just want something to boost my firepower, and I want one more boss killer. The Scrambler is like an all-rounder. It works as a boss killer, it works as a non-boss killer. Fuck, I got hit. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> Oh my god, I keep getting hit. Ah, that's frustrating. Ooh, okay, ammo. Um, I would like my hearts back, please. Like, I don't like how much I'm sustaining damage here. Not a fan. Mm, getting a lot of money, though. Oh god, two mushrooms. Got the mushrooms are the worst. Look at this hell. Look at this hellscape. Fuck. Now you're alive. There we go. Uh, I need hearts really bad. I need health. Level 3 boss is not a pushover. Usually. Ooh. Bundle of Wands, another really good item. Uh, does a lot of damage, but can also transform enemies into chickens. If, if you turn an enemy into a chicken, like that counts as having had killed it, for all intents and purposes. And chickens won't hurt you. So it's, it's quite good. If I run out of the Scrambler, or if I want to conserve the Scrambler, I know what I'm using. Bundle of Wands, not so good against bosses, obviously, because it won't transform them, but like I said, it still actually has really high damage, even without the fact that it can transform. So cool, we were getting good loadouts, now I just need some hearts to stay alive. Just need to work on staying alive. Don't get gooped! Don't get gooped! Ah, oh, fucking hell! said I need hearts and like I'm getting hurt again. <sighs> Come on. Shopkeeper will probably have at least half a heart for sale, but it's not enough. I need, I need to like get some legitimate. I don't think that burn accomplished anything, but that's fine. I'm missing my scrambler, but that's fine. It's probably doing damage very slowly. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, really need hearts. Like, really, really, really need hearts. Look at it, it's going for that one, even though that one's closer to it. You, you do not command the scrambler, you just fire it and hope it does what, it, what you want it to. God, that was awkward. Alright, it's going okay. There we are. Oh, cool. Half heart. It's a good start. It's a good start. 
I just need two more full hearts, and uh, we got a stew going. A hearty stew. Please give me hearts, game. Come on. Could probably kill the next boss okay, but I'm going to be worried about the boss after that. Level 3 boss is a little tough. Level 4 boss is usually a big challenge. Okay, here we go. Sling, absolute garbage. Blast helmet reduces... Um, you have to be really close to an explosion for it to hurt you, although they still can. Also garbage. Uh, but here we go. Full health. Used up like 70 coins there, but it was worth it, I think. Yeah, that was, that was worth it. That was worth it. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's the map. That's the whole map, so we're going for the boss fight right now. So yeah, that was totally worth it. That's exactly what I needed, actually. Like, I'll be damned. Oh yeah, this ain't easy. This one ain't easy. When you kill the bells, they uh, let out a little jingle and a little, yeah, little thing of bullets. This boss is uh, pretty easy with a scrambler, but my scrambler is not powered up right now, so I still have to, it'll take a while, I guess is the issue. Did I get, did I get him on fire? Or is he not quite on fire? I can't tell. Maybe the blast helmet would have actually helped against this boss, because those things explode when you get in their range. Man, I think I missed the fire, just barely. Fuck, I got hurt. Bad. I was doing really well, too, until I, until I got hit. I mean, that's how games work, I guess, right? Alright, get closer with the Molotov there. Can he be, He's not burned, even though he's in the fire. Can he actually be hurt by the fire? I don't actually know. But he's almost dead. There we go. Scrambler just takes care of everything. It just rushes it all. Woo! Wow, five keys. Holy crap. Oh, I'm back to full health. 38 special. I don't think I've ever had that. The sidearm of choice for investigative efforts. What? It just looks like a right. It looks like a slightly better version of my budget revolver. Like, look at that. It look, I think that's all it is. I think it's a slightly better version of my budget revolver. Okay, whatever. Five keys, though. Holy shit. We, um... We're gonna hopefully find something to use those keys on. Sometimes you get, like, a, an NPC locked away behind a gate or something. Or, I don't know. Sometimes you get, like, a special chest behind a gate that doesn't count as the normal two regular chests. But let's just hope we have, uh... There's only four default chests left in the game. So let's actually hope we get to use those keys for something, because I do not need five at the moment if I was only to get the default chests. Because there's, there's two chests per level, uh, and there's two levels left. But theoretically, you know, they're like, theoretically the shopkeep could be locked behind a door, theoretically an NPC could be behind a door. There's, there's, there's stuff that could be behind doors. That are locked, that is. But, like, I, I, I hate getting to the dragon. Oh my god, I got hit. I can't believe that. I hate getting to the dragon and still having, like, three keys. It is such a bad feeling. Like, I know it's kind of luck. It's like, how, how likely or how lucky did you get with getting a key? But still. Oh my god, that bullet is on me. Did you guys see that bullet? It's like a homing bullet. That was ridiculous. I, I lost two hearts in this room due to that mage over there. Jesus Christ. What? Three? What hit me that time? What the fuck hit me that time? What the hell is it going- What the- What? I'm legit confused and kind of upset right now. I just got hit five times in that room. Nice. Nice. Nice! Can I get the last one? Almost. That was really good. Dragonfire. Okay. Actually, how does that work? <laughs> I don't know if I've used it. Woo! Cool. Very slow reload. Let's just keep using the Scrambler for now. I'll save Dragonfire for the boss. I'll use Bundle of Wands once we run out of the Scrambler. God, it's one of these. I hate these. That one was actually really easy, thank God. Okay, selling a key, don't need the key. 
Selling a hexagon. Hexagon ain't bad. Judge. Don't don't remember how that. I don't think I. I think I used it. I don't think I liked it very much. These are cursed items. Uh, so they increase your chances of getting cursed enemies, which deal double damage and are just tougher. But um, these are relatively cheap for how good they are. The charm horn actually, every time you use it, you can steal any item in the area. So it's like the charm horn is really good as a use item. Uh, cursed bullets are really good when you have enemies on the screen. I think if you have a cursed bullet and you fire it and like all the enemy dies, there's a chance it'll hurt you afterward. So that one's very risky. I might buy the horn if I have enough money. If I buy the horn, I can theoretically steal t like. If I buy the horn, I can steal any of these items for free, basically. Probably would steal the judge. Because I would just, I don't know. Stealing a half heart after buying the horn seems kind of pointless. Although if I lift to floor 5 again, the horn might actually come in, like, really, really in handy. Okay, you gotta die over there. There you go. And what did I say I was gonna use? Bundle of wands? Bundle of wands. Oh god, I didn't see the ice. Fuck me. How did I not see- it's huge! I guess that's just my brain didn't register it as an enemy. Registered it as part of the environment or something. I don't know. Fuck. I, I need hearts. I need hearts so bad. I can't believe I lost four hearts in a single room. All because of that fucking enemy right there, the one I just killed. Those wizards are mean, man. Those wizards are mean. Just use a blank because I'm afraid. Dead yet? Oh, got out of the fire already. Okay. Half heart. That's a start. <sighs> Come on, need two and a, three, two and a half more. Yeah. Okay, this is like my one of my favorite guns, but it's so hard to use. It does a ton of damage, but that there's the blast radius is only that blue, and it propels you around. So you you basically fly into enemy shots. But ideally, if you can get it going just right, you can like circle a boss in like a circle shape. And, and you just you just watch their HP die, and it's beautiful, but it's really hard to use. Uh, on bosses that move around, it's pretty much impossible to use without getting hit. On bosses that stay in place, if you aim it just right, you can get some mad damage, but like I said, it's, it's pretty difficult. Bomb! God damn it! I dodged the bomb, then hit him. Shit. <sighs> there wasn't even anything in this room. This was just a dead end. Fuck, this is getting really hard. At this rate, I might just buy the horn and steal the half heart, because I don't know if I'll be able to afford both the horn. Um, or I don't know if I'll be able to... Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to afford both, and you can only steal once. Like, even if you refill the horn... The horn is a use item that you can use multiple times, but you can only steal once uh, per shopkeep. It's an amazing item to get, uh, like, on floor one or two, because then you have so much thieving ahead of you. Like, you don't have to worry about money anymore when you have the horn. For the most part, I mean, you have to worry a little bit, but not that much. Is that it? Nope. More ghosts. Oh fuck! I didn't even see this one. Okay, you need to die. There you go. <sighs> one heart still. It's so sad. Because I'm otherwise doing pretty good. <sighs> Thank god I turned him into a chicken. And I'm empty. Alright, dragon fire, let's go. Wait. Ah! Oh, fuck me! Oh god, that was so unlucky. Okay, so dragon fire does light the floor on fire. Good to know. That makes it a lot more dangerous. I should have probably returned to the shop and, um... 
Ooh, what's left? Okay, let's go to the shop and get that extra heart, because fuck. Okay, so we're gonna buy the horn. Wait, what? 49? Wasn't it 34? Oh, these are 34. The horn's four. Ah! Need four more. One hit of health left. Ugh. This is gonna be pushing my luck here. Alright, let's keep going then. Mm, I'm not happy with this. Not happy with this at all. Okay, Scrambler, where are you at? Scrambler? There you are. Uh, we'll keep going the dragon fire for now. It does faster damage. There's death. There's fucking death. Just get death stuck in a corner here. Okay, death's dead. Oh no, he's not. I was wrong. Okay, now death's dead, and now we have enough money. Okay, let's return. Oh god. Get the horn. Use the horn. What? It's, a, it's supposed to make me... It's supposed to make me be able to steal an item. What? Excuse me? Calls and exchange gets... Uh, nearby to aid you. Why did it not work? What the fuck? Can you, do you have to leave the room and then come back and use it like okay well yeah it's just th this run is just this run is doing all it possibly can to screw me over apparently maybe you have to maybe once you buy the horn you first have to leave before you can use it that way I, I don't fucking know I've never had that issue happen before that's really frustrating The, this this dragon fire thing is like ridiculously good at least oh my god the game just freaking lagged okay you need to die oh, oh god is that it is that all you i don't need another key i have more keys than i could possibly ever need i have five keys and not many chests to use them on Ooh, stout bullets okay so look at this bam look how big they are now Look at the scrambler. Look at that. Look at this thing. Oh no, this thing remains the same size. Okay, ignore that one. Ignore that one. But like... So this just makes guns do way more damage when they're like point blank, basically. Okay. This would be such a good run if I had health. Like, if I just had health. Oh, what hit me? What even hit me? I can't even tell what- is there like a flame on me? Did I light myself on fire for- uh, I don't- whatever. Okay, well that's been that run. <laughs> like, I felt like that run was doing everything possible to jeopardize me and I was still managing to somehow cling to hope because my loadout was pretty decent, all things considered. Hey, Bunko! Um, you know, I'll, I was about to stop playing, but I'll do one more run just for you because you're here, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's let's do the pilot. Wait, actually, no, I don't want to do the pilot. I I just I already got to his final stage. Let's do the hunter. Yeah, I got a bit better at Gungeon. Not as good as I'd want to be, but I got better. Um, I was gonna stop playing, but because Bunko just got to the chat, uh, I'm gonna do one more attempt, last final attempt before stream ends. This shall be it. Let's actually try to go to the sewer this time. I can't believe the game forced me out of the sewer like that. Like last time, I can't, I can't believe I had to buy a key and the game didn't give me enough to buy a key. Like that's so, so unlucky. Just too many short of a key and didn't get a key any other way. Like. God, that last run was weird. Now oh, these aren't worth spending crossbows on. There we 
we are. Hunter is my personal favorite. I mean, for one, you get a dog, but two, like, um, the crossbow is a really good starting weapon. Oh. Uh, but you get a dog. For what, uh, the dog sometimes digs up a random item for you. It's, it's, I think, I don't think it can dig up, like, guns or anything. I think it can dig up a, it can dig up a shield, a heart, uh, a blank, or a key. Um, and it's pretty rare. Usually it's, like, once per floor if you're lucky. Uh, with my experience, it's been more like it digs up an item once every other floor. Um, and then where's the key? The key's up there. Alright, save that for later, because we want the shopkeep to have one. Ooh, these guys. Actually, let's not waste bullets on those. Alright. Uh, these are, like, ridiculously brain dead. Because, like, they can't get off there, they can't reach you, like... They got screwed by RNG that time. <laughs> Oh, let's go to the shop right now. We actually have enough for a key. You need 25 for a key, I believe. 21 if you're the pilot. Yeah, 25. All right, all right. And then we can go back and get the key here. Cool, we can officially enter the sewer with no problems. Now let's see if we can also beat the first boss without getting hit to get that extra heart chamber. That would be nice. Like, have all our eggs in one basket. Or wait, no, that's the wrong expression. What am I trying to say? Having all your eggs in one basket means, like, if something goes wrong, you're fucked. That's not what I'm trying to say here. Whatever. <laughs> Oof. Let's just break that open. I'm, I'm staying far away from it in case it explodes. Yeah, like that. You will take damage if a chest explodes and you're near it. And then sometimes they're mimics. I, didn't, I guess I didn't... You, I don't think I, uh, there's been a Mimic on stream today, but those chests can be Mimics, so. But usually, they don't, if you open them, they turn into a Mimic, they usually don't hurt you immediately, so you get a little bit of downtime to, like, um, react. Unlike Dark Souls, the Dark Souls, if you open a chest that's a Mimic, you get eaten, and you either lose life, or you take a lot of damage, depending on what your level is, I guess, relative to where the chest was. Dark Souls is pretty unforgiving, of course, that way. I wonder if the fact that there's Gatling Gull here- Oh, wait, no, are these all the- No, no. So this is Gatling Gull. That looks kind of like the King. I don't know what these two are supposed to be, but I, I was wondering, like, because the Gatling Gull is here, does that mean that's who I'll see as a boss? And if so, I hope not, because, I mean, I, I mean, not if so, I hope not. I just, I just hope I don't fight the Gatling Gull, I hate him. He's my least favorite, uh, level 1 boss. Although I've been doing a lot better uh, against them recently. The, the the trick is just to strafe really well. Just, just strafe very, very, very accurately. Alright. Fuck it, let's open it. That was a good choice. I got my key back, and I got an ammo synthesizer, which isn't very good. If you kill, you have a chance to get your ammo back. Um, it's okay. It's okay for guns that, like, don't have much ammo to start with, but in general, it's not that great. But, like, I got my key back, so, like, had I destroyed that, I would have probably just gotten a half heart out of it or some junk. So that was actually really, really lucky. God, I love it when you open a brown chest and another key comes out. Like, it's just, it's so cool. It feels so good. Okay, let's get this grenade off my ass. They broke the water! Fuck! Who, who fucking broke the water? God damn it. Okay, there should be another water here. Oh my god, did I jeopardize another, uh, another fucking... Oh my god, did I jeopardize another sewer run? Oh, god fucking damn it. Are you kidding me? This was going well, too, I think. Was it? It's going okay. I got three keys and uh, an ammo synthesizer. That's, like, not bad, right? Where the... God damn it. How did they even break... Was it a grenade that broke the... Like, what broke the water? Did my shots miss and break... Ah. Was there a water canister anywhere else? And if there was, how far is it? Fuck me, man. 
Oh my god. Oh no. Is there no more water to be had anywhere? Oh no, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Okay, there's definitely no water here. If there was, it would have gotten exploded. Because the narrow corridor. No! No, 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 no! Not like this! Not like this! Why, God, why? Are you kidding me? Was that the only thing of water on this map? Fuck! I bet there was- I bet there was like some in here. I bet it got busted open. Probably. Are you kidding me? That's so shitty. This is where I started, right? Fuck! Fuck! Great. So much for the fuck- Like, the game does not want me to go to the secret dungeon, does it? Like, it just does not want me to do it. It's doing everything in its power to prevent me from going to the fucking secret dungeon. Alright, Remember when I first started, the crossbow felt so hard to aim right? Um, oh, you, you get only one shot, right? So, like, you, you can't readjust for how you missed. But, like, now it's just so, like, it's so smooth and simple. It's just pop and go, pop and go. It's, like, so easy now. I mean, I still miss a lot, actually, but, you know, you know what I mean. I don't miss too much. I have, like, a, I want to say a 70% hit rate. I can't believe the game uh, fucked over my water like that twice. Let's or not twice. It fucked me over the first time by just not giving me money for a key, and and now it just fucks over my water. Like ah, I still don't even know what hit the water that it broke. Was it me? Was it the enemy? I'll never know. Oh god, one of these guys. Uh, let's be careful here. Two of, the, two of those guys, actually. Let's be really careful here. Okay, one of those guys. Can be a little bit less careful now. But may as well just use scumbag tactics anyway. Just hide behind the wall. Alright, alright. Oh god. Oh god. Let's kill the... Gotta kill these ones first. Or else it's gonna be really annoying. He killed himself. I'll take it. So much slime. So much fucking slime. These fucking binding of Isaac enemies, man. There we are. Uh, was there a heart anywhere? No, there wasn't. Damn it. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I get hit by the enemies, it only matters if I get hit by the boss. Ah, oh, let's bust you open. The enemies are just a waste of time. They they don't give you money either, uh, as far as I know. They're not as annoying as the blobs, but I mean they kill themselves, so they're definitely not as annoying as blobs. But still, okay, this is where the water is. Got to be really careful here. It's just like very careful. Okay, God damn it! That wizard's gonna. That wizard ruined everything. That fucking wizard. Did you get- I had no way to stop him either! He, he spawned right by the fucking water, and he started casting immediately. Oh my god. Oh my god, I had no way to stop that. I had literally no way to stop that. Oh my god, is this game... gonna fuck me over again like this? Is there also- Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, no. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. We're good. God, I got so worried there for a second. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god. Here we go. 
Okay, this is gonna be a pain in the ass because I have to get it across, like, this room here. But we we got a we got a canister. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. There we go. It's just a giant pain in the ass to actually get it to move the way you want it to sometimes. By sometimes, I mean always. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Fuck. No, too much, too much. <sighs> I don't know why they would create it this way. Oh, no, I didn't want you to go... I don't know why they would make the water work this way. It is so frustrating. All right, table. Block the water's path. There you go. No, no. Oh my god. The table did nothing. The table legs, they do nothing. The table legs do nothing. Okay, fuck. There we go. The one time I need the table to be in the way, it was not. Like this. I can't, I can't believe the game almost fucked me over a second time. Sorry, third time. Third time. Alright, well that nightmare is over. Thank fucking Christ, man. Ugh. I can't believe the wizard spawned right on the water barrel. I, like, even if I ran right for him, he would have cast the spell, I think, before I would have taken him out. And probably me trying to take him out would have probably jeopardized the whole thing anyway. Like, that that's the saddest part, is I probably... If I actually, like, was closer to him and tried to kill him, I bet it would have, uh... Destroyed the water barrel anyway, like, there was nothing I could have done. There was nothing I could have done. I had no choice. Heavy boots. Don't remember what they do. Don't really care. Don't think I'm gonna buy them. Let's actually just buy two keys. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we got four keys. Gonna use two of them on the Sua entrance. Gonna use the other one on whatever chest is here. And, uh... Hopefully it's a gun, so the boss fight will be, uh, faster. God, those fuckers. At least they die with only one hit on this level. In later levels, they take two. At least two, actually. Hit the barrel, hit the barrel. Nice. It's always fun when they kill themselves. Alright, here's the other chest. And nice, we got a gun. Box cannon. Uh, it, it creates like a poisonous thing where I think it shoots. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it, oh no, it doesn't even create a poisonous goop. It's just it's just poison inflicting. It's just a poison inflicting shirt cannon. It's a pox can pop bleh, pox cannon. Yeah, that's good. That's good for the boss fight. I'll help. All all the level one boss fights are uh, susceptible to poison, so this this will speed up the, the process. So let's just not get hit. Let's just not get hit. Get that extra heart in there. I gotta blast that one away, because I don't want to risk it. Ah! Okay, you're getting too close for me, bruh. Back, back off. Back off. Back off. I have the t two of your blinks come back. If you use more than two, they don't come back. Sorry, if you have like three uh, and you use one, you won't get it back next dungeon. But if you have none, it always goes back up to two and resets. So like if you have two currently, there's no reason not to just use them up, you know. And yeah, that was a perfect run. Awesome. Got the extra heart. What is this? What is this? What gun is this? Void Marshall. I think it's just like a laser beam. Yeah, yeah. It's just a little pew, pew, pew. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to use that in the sewer, because so many enemies in the sewer are immune to poison. It makes more sense to use the Void Marshal than the Pox Cannon. If you guys hear a loud crunching sound, it's the cat eating food. If you don't, pretend I never said this. Uh, I was playing Monster Hunter World on PS4. I don't think there's a PC beta, and uh, it's not on Xbox, right? I think it's just PS4 and PC. And, uh, yeah, the PC game's not even due to be released. There's no release date for the PC yet, as far as I know. So, and there's definitely no beta. They usually never do that. So, yeah, it was PS4. That's all you can play the beta on right now. Oh, 
I beat the Rothalos, uh, but I did not beat the Diablos, and I don't think I'm gonna try. I got kind of the Diablos is a little boring. I don't want to be mean, but I, I do think it's a God, Jesus Christ, this is awful. Oh my God, I hate these sections so much. Ah, I still got hit. Shit. Used the blank and still got hit. Feels bad, man. Uh, Pox Cannon, where you at? Let's reload you. And then, uh, go back. Boyd Marshall shoots really fast. It's actually not bad. I didn't realize how fast he can shoot. Look at that. If, uh, you can't hold R1. R1 is very slow. That's holding R1. This is mashing R1. So yeah, mashing R1, definitely way better in this game. You can hold R1 if you want a slow rate of fire for some reason. Like, maybe if you're trying to be more accurate or something. But for the most part... Oh my god, just... Oh my god! Little green guy, please. Yeah, for the most part, you want to be mashing the trigger in this game. It's either mash or hold. There's a few charge guns where you can just hold the trigger the whole time, but those guns are not the best, in my opinion. Uh, rolling usually causes them to um, reset, so... That was a well timed ammo package. Yeah, this thing doesn't have much ammo. It shoots fast and it only has like 250. Yeah, that, that we're gonna run out of this gun real quick here. But luckily, it's killing everything pretty quickly too. It seems to be killing everything before even its clip is out. Nice, nice, nice. Cool, it's going well. There's this bastard over here with the bouncy balls. Which, uh... Oh, God, did I get hit by that? I don't think I did. Who's still alive? Oh, it's a mushroom. Fucking mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Not in this game, though. I love eating mushrooms. I like mushrooms on my pizza. Alright. Should we buy more keys? I feel like we should buy more keys. Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Singularity is... Okay, um, normally I don't want to buy use items, because most characters can only hold- So unless you get a passive item that gives you another use item, most characters can only hold a single use item except the pilot. He starts with the ability to have two. So normally I don't want to put money toward these, but the singularity is really good. So it's going to be a hard choice. And I don't know what duct tape does. It's really expensive. The price of duct tape has gone- uh, catastrophically high in whatever timeline this game is set in, which seems to be like an amalgam of multiple timelines, because the pilot... See, I assume the pilot was, um... For some reason, I assume the pilot was like a, an airline pilot, like a jet pilot. And I was like, why does... why is a pilot like a profession? It's a space captain. He's not a pilot, he's a fucking space captain. That changes everything, that's why he has a laser gun. But yeah, apparently in this Gungeon timeline, Duct tape is really pricey. I wish I knew what it did. I have no idea what it does. I could look it up right now, but I don't think I'll have enough money to get it anyway. So let's just buy the key. Let's just put our hands in the luck of the RNG and just use the key on chests, because fuck it. I'm not going to go for the singularity. Chances are I'll, I'll get another use item somewhere else. Okay, we are not doing that. We're not doing that path again. I'm going to backtrack. Uh, going to backtrack this way. Ugh. Usually the game gets, like, usually the game's okay with the backtracking, but now and then you get something like this, where you're just forced to backtrack several rooms, and it's a little annoying, but it's not that bad. This, this seems worth it. You get a blank and a shield, and on top of it you get that. Oh wait, is that locked though? Ah, oh, that's locked. Fuck, I didn't pay close enough attention. Had I known that was locked, I may have not opened that. Fuck. Uh... Well, whatever. We'll save that key, just in case. Just in case. Okay, this looks a lot easier than... Fuck! So much for that! What the fuck is wrong with me? How did I- how did I get- how did I fall? This is awful. Oh, this is awful. 
Oh great. Awesome. Fucking great. Fucking great. Fucking awesome. Fu Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my god. I am so mad. Fuck it, we're opening this chest. I sacrificed so much fucking hearts to get to that. I am so mad right now. I am so, so mad right now. It's just a fucking ray. It's not even good. God, there's nothing even here. Oh my god, it was down there. There was no I am so mad. This game this game is trolling me. Like this game's legit like trolling me right now. I am so mad right now. Oh my god. I have one fucking heart. I am so so salty. I am like the saltiest. <laughs> I can't believe all that shit happened. Okay, like, what needs ammo? 208, eh. Eh, let's check the void. Um. I'm just so upset at everything that happened. I'm, like, so unbelievably upset at everything that happened. Oh my god, I'm piping, piping hot mad. I just want to kill himself. Well, at least we got a full heart. Those are pretty rare. Hey dog, if you want to dig up like health, now would be the ideal time. You haven't dug up anything yet in two maps. Like, please. Right now would be ideal. Please dig me up some health. Please, doggo. Please. I won't ask you again, just give me a heart. Ah, I don't even have a key. Three green chests. Like, jeez. Alright, let's bust you open. Maybe we'll get a heart out of you. Nope, just junk. Shit. God damn it. Battery level low. Uh, Bunko, MHW is Monster Hunter World. Uh, the beta, there's like a third iteration of the beta. They added a monster this time. Might, I, I might play the Monster Hunter beta one more time before I call it quits on the dungeon here. Maybe. Ooh, ammo. Uh, what was... Yeah, Void Marshal again, I guess. So many, so many shots. So many shots. Oh, they're coming from every direction. They're coming from every direction. Oh, it's because of these stupid balls. I hate these balls. Alright. Wave two. More ammo. At least they're giving me so much ammo, but I really need health. I really need health. Okay, let's run for it. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Why? Why will these? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I almost died to that one. Go away, ghost. Is that a fake wall? There's like secret rooms that are available from fake walls. I guess that's not it. I could have sworn. Wait, do I have to blank to do it? Oh, should I waste the blank? Let's try it. I was wrong. Okay. There's like, if like a, if a crack appears in the wall, there's a chance it's like a... Or maybe it's just a very specific looking crack. Um, it could be, it could be, like, um, a secret room with a chest in it. Alright, Blobulon, let's get this over with. I don't like you, you don't like me, you have to die. Let's 
pretty straightforward. Just basically keeping him perpetually poisoned here. Just a perpetual state of poison. Can do his rollout? No, not yet. He's really taking his time to get to the rollout attack. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. And he's pretty much dead. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. Doesn't matter that I did it perfect this time. Uh, the the extra the extra floor bosses don't get you anything extra. Okay, let's restock our cannon. Oh, a fight saber. When you reload, you get a little whoosh whoosh. This time, let's get the crest. Last time I forgot the. Last time I um did the sewer level, I completely forgot to get the freaking crest. Um, the crest lets you access the second secret dungeon. Um, and I have to not get a hit. Um, you have to find a room with an altar. You have to place the crest there. The crest acts like armor, so you cannot get hit um, while you are holding the crest, basically. Basically, I have to get to the altar in the next floor without getting hit once, or else I lose access to the se second secret dungeon. Of course, with the amount of health I'm at, I'm probably going to die once I get inside there. We got it? Yeah, we got the crest. Okay, let's move on. How much money do we have, actually? Hold on. Is there any health in this shop I could buy? Just in case. Yeah, let's just buy the half heart. Alright. Let's get out of here. Okay. If anybody in the chat happens to have a PS4 and like is a Monster Hunter fan, let me know if you want to team up to like uh, fight the beta together. It's like, oh god, I oh no, I lost the fucking crest right in first room, first goddamn room. I lose the crest. Awesome. Fucking awesome. Great. Fantastic. God, I'm so salty. So as I was saying, if anybody has uh, a PS4 and wants to play Monster Hunter World with me, the beta, um, let me know. I mean, I, I, there, like, I, if you have a PS4 but you don't actually play the series, um, I'd rather not because I'd, I'd want to like fight the Rathalos or Diablos, which are actually really difficult. So if you have no experience with the game, it probably wouldn't be ideal to do that. Um, yeah, let's just talk that. But uh, if there's any Monster Hunter fans who happen to be in the chat, let me know if you want to try taking them on. Ideally, I'd rather just fight the Rothalos again. Oh yeah, so when you reload this gun, it reflects bullets, which is pretty freaking cool. Let's see if I can get it to work. There we go. It's pretty awesome. Wow, that, that uh, reflect animation lasts a while. That's awesome. Alright, well, we won't be going to the second dungeon, but do we have any passive skills? Well, we only have an extra heart. I don't know. We won't be going to the second dungeon, but maybe, or the second secret dungeon, but maybe we'll be able to actually uh, beat the dragon again. Who knows? We'll find out. I hate that Iron Maiden so much. Least favorite enemy in the whole game. It's cool. It's an awesome enemy. I just, it's so scary to fight. I hate fighting it. I shouldn't say it's my least favorite enemy. I should say it's the enemy I dread the most out of any other. <laughs> uh, fuck. Let's just 
gonna ex oh if we break it in time it doesn't explode cool I mean, if we if we get Junkin, I have like three junk now. Oh yeah, if we, four. If I get Junkin, uh, this whole game is gonna become a cakewalk. But the chance of me getting him are slim to none. So. God, that feels actually really good to uh, reflect. Oh, we're back at full health like, at least. So that's awesome. We won't be going to the second secret dungeon, but at least we are at full health. So at least there's some good that came out of all this. And that is that my run is going relatively well. I thought I deflected at least one. Okay, there we go. I did deflect at least one. Yeah, this, this fight saber is awesome. I'm really liking it. Where did that fire even come from? Oh, right, the one enemy. Okay, this is... What does this do? Oh, I th okay, I think this uh, makes you more powerful at the expense of a heart. Let's try it. Yep, it makes you 25% stronger. You get some curse, and you give up. You sacrifice a heart. 25% uh, increase in damage is, like, massive, so that's totally worth it. Also, if you think about it, I have four hearts. Um, I gave up a fourth of my life to do a fourth more damage, like, it, it balances out, right? Like, theoretically. But, uh, if I get more hearts, or if I get more damage multipliers, I believe the damage multipliers are multiplicative. I don't think they stack li linearly, I do think they stack exponentially. But even if they don't, like, uh, even if they don't, like, you still, you want to be able to do more damage. So, the fact that, uh, I got that shrine is awesome. The only bad thing about it, really, like, if it was just health, if it was just health for damage, It'd be always worth it. Uh, but it gives you a bit of curse too, which the curse is bad. Um, the curse basically makes it so you're more likely to encounter cursed enemies. If you get enough curse built up, you can even get a cursed boss, which is pretty much like, oh, it's so annoying. There's a cursed enemy right there. Yeah, speaking of cursed enemies, but there we go. Has way more health and it deals twice as much damage. You, t you lose a single heart. So most of the time when you get hit, you lose a heart. Sorry, most of the time when you get hit, you lose a half heart. When you get hit by a cursed enemy, or a red shot, when you get hit by a cursed bullet, let's say, which cursed enemy is fire, you lose a full heart. And uh, it hurts, it hurts a lot. <laughs> Feels bad. Get out from under that table, you coward. God, reloading into enemies' faces feels so fun. That's actually uh, that's actually a gun. I don't think I want it. Let's just get let's just get a, a key and let's go open this blue chest. Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna save my money for something else. I don't want that silencer. Banana. It's, it's a Worms reference. Plan pain. It like it sends out like a banana bomb like in Worms. Very Worms esque. It's okay if there's a lot of enemies in a room, but it's not that good. Not worth the key. Well, another one of those cases of had I known, I would not have done it. But you, you have no way to know. This is where I would have put the crest! If I had one! <laughs> Alright, that's it for floor two. Let's go, boss. Here we go. Should I get reflect bullets? That might actually help a lot against this boss. Normally this boss is a little tough, but... The fact that you can reflect bullets might help a lot. Okay, I'm out though. I'm out, let's go banana- let's actually try the banana bomb. How will it work? I don't think it'll work very well, but it's worth a shot. Huh. It's an unintentional pun there. It's not working very well if I keep missing. Okay, screw it. This isn't. Ah, oh, goddamn! I got hit. There goes my perfect run. Fuck. It's just pox scanning this guy. God, I was so close to perfect run too. Okay, never mind. 
I wasn't that close. I got hit two more times. Alright, he's almost dead. There we are. Yeah, not not close to perfect run, but it was it was going okay. It would have been really nice to have an extra heart. I guess it's a, it's whatever. Remote bullets. So I think you can like Oh, they can be guided. See, I actually don't like that. Uh, you can control them similar to how, uh, for those of you who saw my last run, um, the the machine gun fist, when it fires the, the big fist that you can control, it's basically all bullets get that ability. And, um, like, it's helpful if you remember you have it, but half the time I, um, half the time after I fire a bullet, I try to aim a different direction right afterward. Um, and having this forces the bullets to curve when you're just trying to aim differently. Like, it's, it's, I don't like it. I don't actually like it that much. I probably should have left it on the ground. Look at that. You can do that kind of stuff. So you can, you can go like, woo! Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? That was silly of me. Uh, yeah, it's not that good. I, I, I really don't like it at all. Now that being said, it's not. I, I pro it probably was okay to pick it up. It's just. I, I don't think it's so bad that I regret picking it up, actually. I take it back, but it's pretty bad. Oh my god, just die. Oh, I can still get poisoned though, so I gotta be careful of the goop. When poisoned enemies die, they leave behind a trail of goop, and it's pretty annoying to deal with. To walk. No, no, no teleport. Oh, I'd love to get some ammo so I can get my fight saber back. I really like the fight saber. Ah, fuck that bullet. It followed me like all the way as I was backing up. I thought I was safe, but I was not. Wow. That stray. That hurts. It hurts my heart. Why am I playing so bad? Oh, I'm getting sleepy, that's why. I can feel my eyes like slowly uh, drooping downward. Like I'm definitely getting sleepy. Oh, you can poison robots. That's interesting. It's kind of bizarre, but yeah, you can definitely poison robots in this game. Those laser sighted guys, uh, I was poisoning those. Would really, really, really like some ammo right now. Please. Wait, did I say ammo? Yeah, I would like some ammo and some hearts. Both, if you can afford it. Oh, I missed every single shot on that one. Fuck, there we go. Please, some ammo. Oh god, not another one of these. I don't want it because it's it's not rare enough. It's just not rare enough to make it worth using a key. I'm actually pretty key limited in this run, unlike the previous runs. In the previous run, I had too many keys. I had five keys, I think, when I uh, died. Alright, good. The mushroom died right away. And that guy's on fire and on the poisoned. So he just kills himself if you leave him alone long enough. But he runs around really quickly while he's dying. 
Kind of like a chicken with its head cut off, but if the chicken was like spouting fireballs the whole time. Ooh, shaft grenade. Oh man, so do I want a grenade or do I want keys? Shaft grenade. Ah, the keys are 35. I could afford both, but no, I'll just take two keys. I'll just take two keys. Probably gonna regret this, but I can't, I want that item just because I've never used it, so I don't know what it does. But that's not enough reason to I think warrant buying it. It's probably just like a generic like does damage. It's a held item that does damage. I mean, it's an active use item that does damage, is my guess. It's probably like nothing super special about it. Got another key over here though. Maybe I, maybe I got too many keys after all. Oh my god, got hit in the butt. Oh god, these snipers are kicking my ass. What the hell? There we go. Wait, no, I missed. There we go. One more, great. Oh my god, I'm, I'm at one health left. This this is such a bad run. This is such a bloody bad run. Oh, god damn. I should have saved that money for some other shit. I didn't need that many keys. I should have just bought the chaff grenade. I should have just bought the chaff grenade. Then I would know what it does before dying in this horrible place. Does he have any hearts? There we go, at least he has one heart, thank god, okay. I mean, what if the chef grenade like stuns enemies or something? Like, what if it does something actually really good? On like most hold items. What if I missed out on it? Alright, we got one mushroom left and a lot of goop. Another, wow, just way to rub it in, game. Way to rub it in that I shouldn't have done that, <laughs> what I did. Thanks. <laughs> Game's just la- oh! I guess what I said about Dark Souls, or I guess what I said about this game not being like Dark Souls was false. I guess you will just get hit by a chest that you open that happens to be a mimic. I wonder if I could have rolled in time. I bet I could have rolled in time if I reacted fast enough. Fuck. All right. Well, I think that's a, that's a good way to end the night for the Gungeon Run. I'm really curious now. If I had like reacted with like a really itchy trigger finger fast enough, could I have a, could I have dodged that? I'm like quite curious whether that was actually dodgeable or not. God, that was a was that was like a curse chest too. That did uh. A full heart of damage on me. Or it hit me with some kind of cursed attack. Because I, I definitely had a full heart when I died. Woo, okay. Well, that has been Gungeon. It's really fun. You should get it. Um, heroin. That looks like a Mega Man gun, but not blue. Kind of. It's probably a reference to something else. I don't know what that's a reference to. Most of the names that don't make sense are usually references. Still need 15 bullet shark, okay. Alright. Well, calling it quits for today. I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. Thanks for tuning in. Probably won't upload the Monster Hunter beta to YouTube at the start of this video, uh, but I will upload the Gungeon stuff just because there's some funny uh, mishaps and some funny salt moments. And Also, I cleared, I cleared the game with the bullet that... Uh, that can kill time too, like, failed the boss afterward, but like, hey, it was cool. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely upload the Gungeon stuff, uh, but the Monster Hunter stuff at the, at the start of the stream, I'll probably, I guess, stay like Twitch only, stream only. So hey, if anybody uh, happens to be watching this Gungeon stuff on YouTube way down the line, way later after I actually upload it, and you're like, what was that Monster Hunter stuff he's talking about? Well, follow me on Twitch and hang out, hang out live. Or watch the Twitch archives, and you'll find out. <laughs> if 
feels weird to have like an ad at the end of a stream. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Um. Oh, real quick. I guess like an update on my channel. Um, I will probably review the two new Steven Universe episodes, but I will probably lump them into one video just because I really don't have much to say about the first episode, and I don't know how much I can say about the second. Like I, I. I don't really have the energy to like try to do like a really really detailed review cuz I don't know I just, I just not feeling it. And like I said the first episode I didn't particularly like that much. The first episode I thought was very kind of bland. Um it had us like we we had to suspend our like we knowing that Lars of the Stars was going to happen ahead of time. We we were forced to suspend our disbelief like in advance. But it, like, still wasn't enough for me to, like, be really on board with Lars all of a sudden being, like, super comfortable with everything homeworld-related and, like, being able to fly jet ships and stuff. Or jet ships, sorry. Ships that travel at the speed of light, rather. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, the first episode I didn't care for. Second episode I actually really liked. So most likely I'm gonna have, like, a two-minute um, thing about the first episode just being, like, yo, wasn't a fan. And then I'll probably have, like, a four-minute thing about the second episode being, like, I really liked it. It reminded me of the scavengers. Uh, scavengers.